This is Jen with glasses, and I am playing King's Quest 3 to be air as human. Okay, guys, let me load this puppy up. And I was actually shocked because uh, Twitch came on so fast showing me that I was alive. It's awesome. All right. Normally, Thursday nights are our troublesome nights. All right. Just, oh, there we go. All right, so here's the deal. Is this the one? Let's turn the music. Uh, last time we kind of discovered something, guys. And what we discovered is that when I... I'll show you right here. When I give... Where's the cookie at? Where's the cookie at? Oh, wait. This is not it. Where's the cookie? Done. Where, does he already have the cookie? Oh, boy. Oh, he's already got it. All right. Just watch what happens here, guys. So we made we made the Play-Doh cat hair cookie. Um, I will agree it's very unappetizing. We made it. Watch what happens. So we made it. The wizard came home. He told us he's hungry. And then we ran into this little problem. Oh no, dude, don't do not do this to me. Just go down the steps, Gwyden. Gosh, I sort of realized sometimes why the wizard's so short with him, because he is a little bit frustrating to deal with. All right, so now I go to give him the cookie, but guess what, I can't. Can't give him the cookie. And I can't teleport myself. And I can't do anything. You'll create no magic around me, Gwyden. Boom. Real deadsies here, people. Okay, so... I need to find some way to hide the magic from the wizard. And I don't know how to do that. So... I'm gonna have to go back to a way earlier save point. Because I was so overconfident... I saved over all my saves because I thought I knew what I was doing and I have to go back and remake the cookie which is going to be interesting but also I need to figure I'm gonna grab some porridge guys like I need to figure out what I'm doing here like I need to figure out how to hide this from him I don't know how to do that I can't figure out I I, I don't know what I did wrong we are however at 140 out of 210 so that's pretty cool all right, I'm going to back it up one, which, let me just see where we're at here. We have the page, so I backed up so we have the page. All right, so we have the page, which means we know what to do, which means we, I know how to make the cookie already. But my issue is, I guess there's nothing else we can do with that water. It's just in there, right? I just want to check. You're not thirsty. Well, that's weird that you would drink out of, that's just weird. Now will the water ha will the rock have an ending water because the pitcher broke? That's the other thing too. We broke our pitcher doing that, and I am sad about that because I wanted to go into the deep desert, but I can't now. Oh, you guys are such <sighs> what? Get down there, Gwyden. Come on. Are they for real? What is going on with them? Fine, I'll go up here. Oh my gosh. Guys, they are out to get me. They're really angry that I stole that money. Let's go this way. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Quiet and stomps. I also flew like an eagle last time and I got the spider with my eagle powers. I dropped him in the middle of the ocean, which is pretty awesome. But unfortunately, the eagle can't really do anything else, which is sad. I kind of want him to. Like, I just wanted to be able to do more as the eagle. I wanted to, like, soar, but he flies, like, two feet above the ground. So there's no soaring involved. It's mostly just, like, trying not to fall. Right, I want to go down here and see. I need to get that porridge. Because I don't have anything to feed the wizard. The wizard will kill me either way. So if I don't have porridge and he's hungry, he's going to murder me. But, um... Apparently he's also going to murder me if I try to feed him that cookie, so. Oh, great. I'm going to have to do. 
there's no wish I could do something with this mess but I can't oh they're coming home I don't want them to come home I want them to go because I need to grab that porridge one last time I don't know, maybe I can break the cookie up into the porridge. Although the game says every time I try and do something magical, it says basically don't mix up magical ingredients unless you've asked. Alright, let me see if they're home. I know I just saw you guys go in, but maybe when you left, you left. Maybe when I left, you left. Oh, cool. Alright. Let's go in and steal a porridge one last time, even though I kind of don't want to. That is just a crazy, crazy fire like it's such a big fire it's mist and fire maybe I could do my invisibility spell there but that still wouldn't help me with the wizard because uh, I think he can get up there quite in golly those guys are really persistent okay I just want to save it here because I have I have the porridge I have my other stuff all right let's go down here 81 the place. I think we're at what, 95. No, I'll just go 99. Even though that's not right, just because I know I'm not worried about it. Alright, so I just I have to figure this out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Urgh. I was really excited and way overconfident because I was like, oh, you know, we can start talking about the games we're gonna do next. I have to talk to you guys about Space Quest and a bunch of other games I found that I want to do, but yada yada yada. Well, I shouldn't have been excited about that. Well, I'm, I'm still excited to play this game, but I thought, well, we're wrapping it up so quickly. Nope. 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 Okay, I think I still have enough time to go in here and do the spell too, which is awesome. But just in case I don't, I'm going to save it here. Save, save, save. Save, 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 save. Alright, I think I have all my stuff too. I just need to go over here. And and last time for some reason I thought that it said the cat saw me close the cabinet, but it just said the cabinet locked when it closed. I watched my own highlight video at the end. I was trying to see if there's any way I could, you know, hide what I was doing if the cat saw me. But the cat did not see me. That was just... My own imagination, my own dyslexia, making it seem like that's what it said. All right. Yep. Let's do that. Let's go down to the dungeon. Do, 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 do. So I know I'll make the I'll try and make the cookie correctly again. I'm gonna make a make a new save point. Just in case, like, it's just another dead end. Because then I'm just going to have to figure it out. Alright, so go over here. Let's get out the page. Where's the page at? Oh, yes, I can, but I have to look. I have to read it first. DS6, did he eat it yet? No, I just started. I have to go back. Uh, yes, I can. Sorry, I'm talking to the game, not you. I have to go back and remake the cookie because the point I saved that I'm trapped I'm basically trapped at um I'll do 100 I'm basically trapped at this point DS where I'm just in a death loop because I can't figure out how, what to do and I can't do anything differently because I don't have time so I have to remake the cookie and then I got porridge this time before coming up so I have something to feed him if I need to buy it for time but hopefully I can figure it out all right, grind one dried mandrake. I haven't done any of that yet, have I? Where's all my, there we go, all right. DS6 is good, I didn't miss much then, or you'll figure this out, I hope so. I, I hate it when I have a stream where I don't do anything except sling my head against the wall, although it doesn't make amusing points in peril, like those are my funniest ones. All right, grind, I gotta focus on what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna waste all this time being like, I'm mad at myself. Do everything exactly right. All right. What does it say? Put two spoons of fish oil. I'll put the mandrake root in the boil. Bowl. Boil. 
put it on your boils. Mandaic root is great on your boils. Put it in the bowl. Then it's two spoonfuls of fish oil. Let me get the spoon. Where's the fish oil at? The stinky oil. I think this is it right here. Yep, and that uses the whole thing, which I find interesting. It's like it's going to use the whole big bottle for two spoonfuls. Put one small ball of cat hair oil in the bowl. Stir the mixture. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, I have to reset this. I didn't do this. I did it too slow. Oh, guys. All right, I have to do it faster. And not with the sound up. All right, so I need to... Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to be not as talkative because I have to do this thing quickly. All right, so I know what I need to do here. I need to mandrake root because I used up all that time. getting the porridge I supposed to stir the bowl put the cat hair in first crap 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 all right we're back to the oh come on game this is just a thing that it's going to do all right, all right, all right. You place the missing page. I just need to make this so I can figure out what I'm doing wrong. I gotta figure it out, figure it out. No, game. I touched it with my hand. I didn't, I wasn't, I was trying to follow the directions. Oh, gosh. TS6, you're too tense. I am too tense. I'm so mad I couldn't get him to eat that cookie. I'm so mad about it. All right, read with our hands. Uh, all right, I just need to relax. I can always restart it, I guess. I feel so disappointed in myself that I didn't foresee the problem that it wasn't going to be this easy. I should have known. I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. He's had a billion Gwydens. Somebody's tried this kind of crap before. All right, uh, this, this, and the stinky fish oil, this. This. Wait, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Oh, I'm not. I already put the fish oil in. I am too tense because I'm not reading that right. I don't. I have to add the cat hair first. Gosh, man. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Slow it down. Slow it down. At least I have like this practically memorized. If I had to take a test on this, I would know it. Of course, why would you have to take a test on this? <laughs> but if I did, I would get an A. Well, I get a B. I'd pass if it's multiple choice, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, yeah, map, 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 map. Okay, I need to read what's actually telling me instead of speeding through. Put the, so I already did that, so now I need to go to this and get the big disgusting ball of cat hair. Gross. I need to go back to do this, I need to do this, I need to stir it up. Okay, I stirred the contents of the bowl. What am I supposed to do next? Uh, put the dough on the table. Okay. So I need to put the bowl on the table. Or put the dough on the table. Oh, it just looks so gross. Really nasty. Mold the dough into a cookie. Oh. Ooh, it hardens quickly. All right. Um, recite spell. Oh gosh, this is just taking so long. Okay. All right. Exit. Oh gosh, gosh, guys, I might have to restart this because I'm. Ugh. All right. There we go. Okay, okay, great, great, great. Let's go upstairs now. So awesome. Is it really? Oh, please don't die. <laughs> please don't fall off. Please don't let the cat come up and kill me. Please don't let. Oh, gosh, okay. First thing I need to do. Oh, gosh, he's watching me. Here we go. 
Thank you. Yeah, close this up too, guys. Thank you. Okay, go over and do this. DS6 says, all my friends have to pass a King's Quest 3 magic spell variety test. Not really, but I should now. <laughs> should be the friendship test. Do you know how to pass this? Come on, come on. Why is he so slow? Oh, gosh. This is how I really feel if I had to sneak around and do anything. This is how I felt as a kid when I tried to sneak ice cream. I'd be like, oh my gosh, my mom's going to catch me. She's totally going to know. Oh, no. I thought she was in bed already, but she's coming downstairs. All right. Okay. We have enough time. We're okay. If he doesn't stop for no reason before getting to the room, then we're okay. All right. I'm going to dump everything in here. Uh, hide all. Hide everything. Okay. Now we're good. Actually, I actually have a little time to look at stuff if I wanted to, which I might. Zombie man's here. Hi, zombie man. He says, hi, Jen and DS. Okay. Here we go. I just don't, can I mix? The real question is, can I mix? Actually, let me save it. Let me put everything back. Hide all. Let me just save it here. A different save. Because I'm not liking this. All right, let me go all the way down here. With 101. And then we'll, we'll see. Okay, and then I'll walk out. I don't, I want to, I have the porridge now, so I can feed him something. But I just need to know, like, how, what am I supposed to, I'm, ugh. So, zombie man, just to catch you up, I did make the, the cat hair cookie, but when I try and give it to him, he kills me. So, I'm trying to figure out how to give him the cookie without being killed. So, we'll see. This should be comedic at best. Hmm. He doesn't know I did anything wrong. I shouldn't be panicking. I can see him here. Do I get to see him wake up or does he just like disappear? Hi, I'm watching you sleep. It's not creepy at all. Ooh. All right, come on out and not kill us so I can figure out if there, how to give you this. I wonder if I could, I don't know. I want to break it up into the porridge so he can't taste it. But I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can use any of the spells on him, really. I can sense it, so I need to know. I wonder if I'm just by sitting here, we're doing something where now it's not going to let us. Is he waking up? His beard's... Oh, cool, we get to see him wake up. Hi. I'm ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Immediately. All right, dude. I'm going to save this over the other save. So basically, Zombie Man asks, how's the progressing going? Well, here's what's going on. DS6 says, it's going great from my point of view. I'm sure it's very entertaining because I'm super uh, tense and frustrated, but we'll see. All right, so retrieve. I'm just going to retrieve all for a second because it doesn't let you mess with stuff. That's the only thing. I wish it would let you mess with things in that window. Because, all right, so I have, oh, that's the, that's the kissing stone. All right. Can I mix this up with this? <gasps> yeah! Okay, that's awesome. All right. Okay. Okay, guys, that was cool. I, this is going to work. I have to hide everything and then retrieve the porch. Um, I am super excited. I... That just works, DS. That just worked. Like, well, maybe it won't work, but I think it did work. Because last stream, Zombie Man, I just ended the stream, like, getting killed four times in a row. DS6 says, hacks, I mean, grats. Well, I hope it actually works, because last time I was super confident. I was like, I got this weird Play-Doh cookie made. He's going to eat it up. It's going to be awesome. But he definitely zapped me. Apparently, the, the porridge has magical has magical um, concealing properties. <laughs> DS6 says, oh, fooey, I should have said grits. I mean grits. <laughs> oh, grits, yeah, grits is. I guess you could say it's, it's grits with cat hair in it. Zombie man, what spell do you use in the wizard? I'm using the, the cat, making him to a cat spell. I really hope it works. I don't know what we're going to do after this. 
You watch, barely able to control a smile from the spreading over your face. The wizard chokes on his little mat snack and clutches his throat. He seems to be turning into some a somewhat bluish color. As the wizard manages to swallow the tainted, once-hidden cookie, he greedily gulps the remainder of the porridge. You watch, hoping for a sign that the spell will begin to work. But it seems the wizard is unaffected. What? Guys! Something is wrong. I feel strange. Really? Maybe you should curl up. Have a cat nap. Oh, Gwyden. What was in that porridge? A cookie? Ah, the cookie. You know, reminds me of a poem. poem. Root of mandrake and fish oil with cat hair over which I toil. You get him, Gwyden. My spell! Oh, you know that one? You, you! Yes? <gasps> you won't get away with this. You'll be sorry, Gwyden. Are you going to do something, or is he just going to zap us? Ah, yeah. <laughs> My name is Alexander. Bum, bum, bum. One fifty out of two ten. <laughs> Can we grab? You've had enough to do with that creature. I want to hear him say something in cat language, like "I hate you." Keep your voice down inside. The wizard house is something you learn. Oh no, I don't have to. Change me back immediately. Sorry, I don't know how. Liar. It's not true. I don't know how. You'll never be a prince. You've been a pauper too long. Just wait, you wretched boy. You'll pay for this. Will I? You won't look so clever once you've been shrunk down to size. What does that mean? Just oh, you've been shrunk down to size. I'll trap you like the rat you are. Change me back. Sorry, I don't know how, liar. Shrunk down to size, guys. Is he gonna shrink me down to size? Okay, I'm super excited. I'm going to save this and replace this. Because that is awesome. I can get all my stuff and just, like, stomp around. But now I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have all this freedom now. Ooh, what's up with that? What's up with that, guys? Alright, let me get my stuff in case it does something. I just want to get my stuff. have that teleportation spell too. Retrieve. Take all. I have not yet had to sleep at all, so I don't really know what that's supposed to do. So I have all my stuff now, and I'm going to go get the magic wand too. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Look at him striding with purpose. He's a free man. Now, the real question is, which cat is this? <laughs> like, that's the question I have. Which cat is this? Is, uh... I still want to get those boxes up there, man. Alright, here we go. I have all my things. I like having all my things on me at all times, but I'm not a hoarder. I just like to be able to look at all my inventory whenever I want to. Yeah. Can I use it on myself? Ooh. Cool beans. Alright. I still can't get up here, can I? Oh. I really want... Can I move this desk over? No, it's not going to let me. It's going to look through the drawer again. Can I move the chair? You haven't been asked to chair. Chart is firmly attached to the wall. I can rip it off. Doesn't he realize he doesn't have to do what the wizard says anymore? I could rip everything off. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna save it. Which cat is this, by the way? Oh, it's the other black cat. Nice. No, I don't want you to go back down there. I just want to save it up here because the picture did something cool, and I want to know what that is. Stop moving, Gwyden. Oh, good gravy. Alright, I'm going to replace down here. I'm going to go replace 102. I am like super stoked, guys. I don't even know what the rest of this game's about. 
I know of a bunch of spells I haven't ever used. But the painting doesn't look like it's changed. It looks like there's nothing in the painting now. Yeah, that's my thing. They got the painting, creepy painting in his room, too. Yeah, I'm not real. Let's do anything now. Alright, I'm not going to touch it then. <laughs> DS6 says, For sale, furnished house to top a mountain. Great view. Comes with two free cats. Non-negotiable. Accepting any and all offers, Alexander. <laughs> well, let me go through the, look through the telescope again. See if it shows me anything cool. And then I'm going to walk downtown, guys, and see what I can do. I can go anywhere I want. Too bad there's not any place to go. Oh, no. I really... They don't open. They don't open. Okay, well, I was really hoping it would um, show me something that I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you should say in the, in the Craigslist listing that he uncle recently died he just wants to offload this house I just want to offload it all right I just want to make sure like I don't want to have to come back up here again if I missed anything I don't think I did I know but that looks like you could hide something in there that's a weird use of space the other use of space okay the poor chickens Guys, I don't think anyone's going to feed you when I'm gone. I'm sorry. I'll feed you one last time. I'll tell them down at the tavern to, like, you know, come up and feed you. Alright, so I have all this stuff. But I don't know what to do with it. So that means I feel like that when I go down, down there's got to be something changed in the town. Now will let me do my flying spell up here. So, oh no. It wouldn't let me do it earlier. Oops, it's up here. Not the right time. Not the right time. It lets me fly about a foot off the ground down at the bottom. That eagle still does not like me. He feels like I assault condors. Because my father did. Okay, let's not fall off the cliffs, okay? Go ahead and I save too much, then not enough, then too much again, then not enough. So I'm trying to find a good balance here. Do, 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 do. I think I still have some money left in the purse, too. So I don't really have to worry about time. I can walk around here, down here as often as I want. To like run out of food and stuff. Thanks, bears. I wish I could pay you for all your porridge, but I'm not going to. Alright, is the town over this way? I think it is. I'm going to go into town and see what they're doing. I don't even know how am I supposed to get off this rock? So I have I have an invisibility spell. Oh <gasps> there's a ship, guys! There is a ship. But I'm missing about 60 points, so. Right, I'm going to save over right here. This is my new save, like my general save point for now. Alright, I, I want to go see this ship. That's pretty awesome. Finally, something's on the dock, you know? I need to get out of here. Hey, hey, cool dude. I'm cool too. You politely speak to the sailor on the dock. He growls at you in response. Quit your yammering, boy. I ain't got no time for you. I gotta keep trespassers away from this here jolly boat. Scram. Zombie Man says, let your adventure begin. This is one heck of a game, guys. Insistently, you speak to the guard again. He seems displeased as he snarls at you. I'm warning you, boy. I got a tricky sword hand. Better go away before I can't stop myself. 
Gosh, dude, you're rude. Uh, those are interesting shields. You do a lot of attacking with those shields. Okay, so there's nothing to say when I look at it. A large ship is tied to the dock, that's it. So I gotta probably go to the tavern. I'm like super excited here. All right, don't stab me just because I'm walking by you. I'm, I'm just walking by you. So we don't ever really get to explore the desert. That seems kind of crazy. Maybe we still do. I don't know. They're not letting me on that ship anytime soon. I can tell. Oh, I'm so excited. I thought I was going to spend the whole night trying to figure out how to get the wizard the cookie. Hey, all kinds of cool stuff happening. What about these guys? The sailors peer at you through bleary eyes and continue swilling their rum. One, who looks like the captain, pauses and drunkenly speaks to you. I me bucko, you be wanting passage on me ship, what you running from? Ah, it's no matter. As long as you got gold. Let me see how much gold you got. I don't... Okay. We have some gold. We have some. Which one's the captain? As you bring out the purse, the captain snatches it from your hand. Ah, lad, I see you have a wee bit of gold. It's less than me regular fare, but it gives you a passage. Anyways, we'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain's men drown their rum in one long draft and leave the tavern. Are they for real, guys? So I can just go? I, sh I can't say goodbye? Is that all I need? What was with the mermaid? I don't need anything else? I can just go? I don't know. You might not appreciate being I guess you wouldn't be appreciate getting poked. Oh, gosh. I'm not gonna keep talking to this guy about the fact he doesn't know how many children he has. Alright, guys. I mean, I have all my stuff, so I might as well go. I'm going to save right before I go on um, a separate save right before I go on the ship because I really don't trust these guys. Like, he snatched my purse away from me. My man purse. You know, you don't do that. You don't snatch someone's man purse away. It's not cool. Not cool at all. So it makes me very suspicious these guys are like, I don't know, slavers or something. Or they're like, Ah, the captain said you'd be coming along. Get on board. What? We're actually... What are we even doing? We're on a ship. This is so amazing. I'm so excited. That, nothing like a little bit of salt air to perk up a boy's spirits. You feel excited about the upcoming journey. Oh, boy. Don't get too excited, Gwaiden. Life kind of sucks for you, so I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Ooh. Ahoy there, me lad. Allow me to introduce myself. It means Captain Bloodit. Ooh. I'll be your host for this year voyage. Hoister master, or what you'll be remembering of it. Pretty flag, ain't it? Oh, you're pirates? Afraid so. We'll be showing you the quarters now. Oh, no, guys. Set a course for the island, eh, Captain? Tommy Min says, save it. I did save it. I did. So if I need anything, I can go back and get it. I did save it. Oh, this just... Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to save it again. Oh, boy, guys. Man, he just... He's... He's in trouble. All right, what's this here? Cautiously, you look around the dank cargo hold. Among stacks of wooden crates, a rope ladder dangles partway through the opening above. What's around here, though? What's this? This is like a weird thing. Anything in here I can get? Uh, they probably took all my stuff. <laughs> TS6 says, save it till you rave it, aka win the game. <laughs> is that a thing? Oh, they took all my stuff. I took all my stuff. Is that a thing? Dude? You're not interested in what's inside those crates and they're too heavy to move. I'm kind of am. It's, it's just out of reach. Are you for real? 
Guys, he can't jump this high. Do we need to get on? It's too hot. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Is there anything I can do down here? Oh, I can go this way. He's not. Come on. <laughs> DS6 is maybe. I don't know. Oh, there's a very conspicuous box. Is that my stuff? Okay. I guess. Can I look at it? In your current attire, you'd make a beggar look fashionable. Okay, I guess it's just a box so I can... It seemed rather necessary to get a box so I can go all the way over to get on the rope, rope ladder. Go gliding! Alright, let's put that puppy down. Maybe like here? Oh, here. There we go. Gosh, why, just pull yourself up. You think he'd have some upper body strength with all the work he's been doing. There you go. There we go. DS6 is nice workout box, prisoner. Alright, okay. Save over that last one, replace. Alright, so looks like there's the captain. DS6, don't just don't give the box a name and everything will be fine. <laughs> Alright, even the captain's evil. I'm gonna try talking to him because I can, because I just saved it so I can always come back. What are you doing here? Stay put until we get ashore. <laughs> Did they literally just throw me back down here? Alright, well I'm gonna restore it then. Just cause Alright, so I'm gonna go up here now. Is there anything? Yeah. I guess that's all I can do. Go up here. Going up. Going up. All right, let's go all the way up. Let's go up to the top. Maybe if I had my stuff, I could fly like an eagle away from here, really. A burly pirate has noticed you from inside the crow's nest. Before you can react, he yells, You're dead meat, bucko! And slashes you with his sword. He misses barely. Dude! They are very aggressive. It's like they're pirates or something. All right, we need to get off at some point, then. You should refrain from... That's not careless gallivanting. There we go. Alright, what's this over here? So this is... Can we go in here? Alright, what's in here? You like your fingers undercooked. Okay, come on. It's an old wood stove. These filthy pots and pans are used to cook the pirates meals. Poor devils. Should, should, we, should we clean our ways out of... If we all the gunk on it, you wonder if it's ever been washed. Should we clean our way out of this problem, guys? This is a skill set, is like cleaning up after stuff. I, can I pick it up to use it as a weapon? Oh. Can I weaponize it? You're no chef, as Manana has attested many times. Well, Manana can't... Okay, so there's nothing I can take in here. Can't take this? Alright, so let's go out this way. We'll go out the other side. Alrighty, folks. We're going this way. Some, is that, what is that? We cannot name. The shields are more likely stolen from the conquered vessels. Yeah, they probably were. Man. Can you go? Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, here's the ladder. Fortunately, the fall only left you with a few bruises, but the captain was none too pleased about the commotion you caused and had you immediately tossed back into the hold. Alright, is this just kind of a thing where we're just climbing out of the hold all the time? I think it's funny they didn't realize how I escaped. They didn't move my box for me. You're near the island, Captain Orders. As soon as we drop anchor, we'll head for shore. The treasure is assuredly still there, waiting for me. I mean us. Do you think the map is accurate? No reason to think otherwise. The last captain of the ship insisted the map was genuine. Twas the last thing he said before I ran him through. What about our new passenger? You think he's up to the task? Are you questioning me, judgment? You be thinking he'll make a run for it? Fast chance of that. He, it's a dangerous, dangerous journey on the center of the island. Even if he made it that far, there's an impassable cliff face on the other side with a sheer drop to the ocean below. And if by some slim chance he managed to climb down, it's a mighty long swim to the nearest land, and then there's the sharks. Ha ha! 
I guess he doesn't have much of a choice. Do you think there'll be traps in the island, Captain? Well, of course there'd be traps. You'd be empty-headed sea urchin. The treasure was buried in the days when those wizard characters used to run things a thousand years or so ago, it will, till it'll be told. The pirate captain to whom the treasure belongs was something of a magician himself. Who knows what deadly devices were conjured up? Well, don't just stand there. Go get him. Hey, Captain. Oh, I'm going back down. If only, if only this game tracked X of Y fall completions for Jen. <laughs> I know, I'd be so winning. Zombie man, he fell out. I fell out. A few hours later. Take this parchment. It's got a lot of silly scribbling on it, but it gives you the best route to the jungle. Now get in there and find that treasure. Where's my stuff? And try not to get killed. Aye, it's a lot of trouble finding someone who won't be missed, and he's foolish enough to set foot on my ship. Alright, can I have my treasure, please? Quit your prattling, get in there. Not treasure. Of course, I mean, find us that treasure, of course. Yeah, we all know you're gonna murder everybody. I don't have any of my stuff. Oh, they gave me a shovel. The old map you obtained from the pirate captain is worn and fragile. It may be very well be centuries old. Read with your hands. Does it really? Okay, so there's a thing, and then another thing, and then a cliff, and then an X. Well, that's not helpful. All right, I'm going to save it. Gosh, guys, it's a whole new thing of saves. It's a whole new world of saves. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Mm, I don't think there's anything else they can give me, right? Okay. Oh, lots of things to be murderized by. A serene natural corridor leads you from the beach to the inner island. Yeah, I don't know how serene it is. Oh. Okay. A weight has appeared. It hovers the air over the bridge. You see an old marble pillar near the chasm. Alright, let me save this real quick. <laughs> Zombie man says X, mar X marks the spot. Well, yeah. It's easy. Just go to the X. It looks like, looks like nothing, but you know. Don't worry, you'll find it. Okay. I want to look. I want to look at this marble pillar. The pillar is unmovable. What's the deal with this? It looks so weird. This thing's gonna murderize me, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> you'll soon for, soon see for yourself where the world is flat. Okay. So, music turned down. Okay, so, obviously I'm supposed to fiddle with this. So I need to, the, it says unmovable. The pillar is unmovable. If it's so unmovable, then why? Alright. There's just stony silence. I didn't ask to listen. Can I get up on here? Can I stand on this thing? Yeah, but can I stand on it? No, I cannot. So basically, I can't get past the first test. <laughs> Let me back up. Is there any other way I can go? I need something. Let's see. A large rock accompanies the path. Can I pick up this rock? You could sit here, then again, you could get a move on. I want to use the rock to be a counterbalance, guys. Unspoiled flora. Path leads into the jungle. So there's nowhere else I could go. I kind of have to go this way. Okay, let's see. Does the map give any clues? Oh. Well, here we go. Through all life's long, lonely walks or skips or runs or trips, true balances are keenly sought. Take heed to avoid tips. To avoid tips? A tasteful trio, all distinct, are, are ways to find new destiny. Their traits most heavy, norm and light, their weight against longevity. 
heavy norm and light. Hmm, I don't see how I might. Uh, oh, well, this is good. Well, let me definitely save that then. All right, let me see. See a bottle containing some strange liquid. Okay. Oh, these will make me heavier, lighter, or normal. I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Well, you would think the largest one would be heavier. I'll try the skinniest bottle though, just to be. Oh, I took all of them. Oh. Well, I'm getting some stuff then. More than anything else you've carried. Hardly tell you're carrying it. Alright, so. Let's see if this helps anything. Oh! Oh, oh Gwyden. That's Gwyden when he's about 55. Oh gosh, this is this kind of test where it's like every step. Okay, so that one, this one's the normal one. About right for its size. Okay, well, let's drink it. <gasps> oh, what happened? Oh, I have to be lighter? Alright, let me restore. I'll drink the other one then. Nope, I don't need the music game. Thank you. Alright, here we go. I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring it out. Alright, let's take this one this time. Ooh. Oh, is that the heaviest one again? I just keep drink just drinking this stuff. Let me save it. Let's be smart, Jen. Let's be smart. Let's save it. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I have to drink the heavier one again, right? Gosh, Gwen, you're gonna have so many stretch marks after this. Like <laughs> your skin is gonna be a wreck, dude. Oh, it was the wrong one. Alright, so that was the wrong one. Is that the normal size? I don't need that loud music. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go for something. We're going to go for this thing. Alright. Okay. Am I just supposed to keep walking? I have to... Oh. I didn't even save it after I successfully did it. Oh! I should have realized what was going on. Wait, which one did I drink last time? <laughs> Alright, hang on. DS6 lol. Yeah, I know, you're waiting for it. You're like, it's gonna happen. She's gonna walk. I did this wrong this No, I did it right. Because she's not gonna think about the fact that these are up, so I have to be lighter than I've ever been. Alright, I'm going to save it again. Oh, boy. This is the briars all over again. Oh, no! I don't have any more stuff. How am I supposed to... Um, am I supposed to grab this thing and just shimmy on down? Oh, boy. Pull the lever? You pull the lever, the braces on the side where you came from snap back into place. Okay. Yeah, that's the right thing. Oh, game, come on, get it together. Oh, whew! Alright. That was only a billion times as painful as I thought it was going to be, so we're good. <laughs> Hey, 160. Oh, come on. Alright, let's read the magical scroll again. Begin you sh shall across the sea. It's clear 
hue like the sky, to find yourself in endless sand like blood and yet bone dry, and then to luscious fields of wheat, a wide expanse of crops, through waving grasses growing tall, hand brushing across their tops. High over snowy mountain pass, their journeys near the end, step last into the well-tilled earth, where wounded feet may mend. Okay. So blue, red, yellow. I'm going to write this down just because. All right, so it's blue, red, yellow. So blue, red, yellow, green. I'm assuming white if that's snowy. Brown. Great. All right, let's see if I can do this. The answer is probably no, but we will try. I will try. All right, so I'm looking for blue. Where's the blue one? Right, there we go. Blue. Oh, you didn't step on it in time. All right, blue, right? Why wouldn't it let me go on blue? All right, so I have to use my hand. What's the deal? Okay, this first is blue. Okay, blue, then red, which is next door. Then where's the yellow at? Yellow. Hi, yellow. Then where's the green at? Come on, light up. It's blue. It's green. <sighs> okay, it's blue. Oh, I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. Oh, ooh. Maybe the map should be color coded. It is color coded. All right. Oh well, there we go. I'm gonna save it here. Save, save, and. Just in case it wants me to look at the map, I guess I should save it after I look at the map. Okay, so. So it looks like it's blue, red, yellow, green, white, brown. White or gray, but I think. Uh, Alright, so. Oh, there's red on this side too, so I have to be. So blue, red, yellow, yeah, I can't quite see the color. Go ahead and move aside, looking for green, can't quite, alright, come on, is it here? Where's the green at? It's yellow. I guess, can I go this far? Okay, good, I can. Nice. Green. Looks like that's white. And then blue? No, brown. Alright, hang on. Where's the brown one at? Where are you, brown? Okay, it's green and blue. There's brown. And nothing. I do I have to do it again? Guys, that didn't help me. <sighs> am I supposed to start it all over again? Like blue? Oh, I am. It's a pattern. Blue. Red. Yellow. This is the same one as that last time that I did this wrong. Alright. Green. Great. Great, I guess. White. I have to redo this and I'll get it right. And then brown. Okay, so if you do this, there's. What is the next blue? Okay. White. There's blue. But I gotta get the correct red. 
blue. It's yellow. Gosh, this is. I, I think I've done this before. The exact. I can't jump that far. Okay, fine. Green. You can't jump. I can't jump that far. Here's the purple at the end. There's the brown that could get me there. What am I looking for? I'm looking for. Uh, I'm on yellow, so I gotta be looking for green. Oh boy, ah, it's blue. I want to. I want to jump. I can't jump that far. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. Green and then white. There's gotta be more than one white. Mm. I'm just gonna sabotage it for a second, and then I have to relook at this. Gosh, guys, this is a complicated puzzle. All right, Gwyden. I know the map is color coded. Stop making fun of me. All right, the music does not help, game. All right. So I need to find a different. I need to find an alternative to this. I need to look at this for a second. I don't think I can walk. Can I walk up this way and catch this blue over here? I think that would put me in the same spot anyway. Right, there's a blue there. I can't start there though. There's a blue there. Red. Blue over there. It's a white. Okay, well, I'm going to try this one. Oh, I used my hand again. It's just so confusing. Sometimes you use your hand, sometimes you don't. Okay, so I keep going to the red over here, but that's not. I need to go this red. Okay. Red then yellow. Okay, there's yellow. Then green. Which I probably looked down and missed the green showing up. I'll have to wait till it cycles through. Another green. Can I jump this far? I can't jump this far. Where's the other green? Oh, I don't want to get caught up in that because that's gonna be a mess. Can't jump that far. Oh, so I guess this is the only Okay, green white, but I don't want to go down here because I always leaves the same thing. Okay. One of these up here. Blue. Uh. I can't jump here. I should be able to jump here. There's white, but still brown. The brown one's right here. There's a green one right there, but that doesn't help me purple one right there, but that definitely doesn't help me. This is Purple Ma Mountain's Majesty is what, it's actually not white. No, that it would kill me if that was the case. Alright, so I need to go, I'm on brown, I need to go blue. Alright, blue. Okay, let's see if I can get red. Okay. Alright, yellow. Where's a good yellow? Come on, guys, come on. You can do it, Gwyden. You can figure this out. Okay, yellow, green, okay, I'm almost there, white, yes, okay, brown, yeah, alright, I gotta save it, whoa, that is a very uh, aggravating test, I just have to say, One ten. alright, here we go. These boots are made for walking. Walk, that's what I do. 165 out of 210. Alright, I'm super excited. Alright, let me look at the. I guess I'm just saving it again to make it easier for myself. Alright, let me look at the magical scroll. What's the name? Safe for its sounds. They lie close by. They, they lie close by. Look close around. For in creatures, both small and great. The way in is paved suit through Saren's great gate. Not great. <laughs> We're not going into a sewer. DS six is nicely done. Thank you. I I was a little nervous there for a minute. What's the name save for its sounds? All right, we're just gonna walk over here. So it looks like a starkly angled stone arch stands alone in the clearing. It has vaguely familiar markings, and you gather it has been here for more years than you've learned to count. It's a sort of stone tile with something engraved on one side. Can I pick it up and see what that is? 
Alright, okay, can I look at it in my inventory? I just want to see what's on the... An animal on it. Which animal? Can I, can I see the animal? It may be magical. I think it's pretty clear that it is magical, actually. I'm just going to pick up all the little things. Well, I want to grab this, though. Do, 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 do. Again, you can't figure out where he's putting this stuff. Alright. His jean pop pockets must be already split with all these things. Alright, so let's go up here. Let's look at this. Alright, let's touch this and see what it does. Alive. Alright, so... Okay, but, alright, I guess it's going to make us do it this way. Oh, all creatures great and small, what's in a name? <sighs> Saren's Gate. Does that mean it, like, starts off with, like, there's a spider. There's, there's an owl. What's that a, oh, antelope. Elephant. Is there something with an R? Newt. Owl, rabbit, okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I can't even remember. It's like Sarah, owl, antelope. Alright, let's see if I got this right. Did it work? Let me touch it again. Alright, let me see what it says. What's, what's the name of the gate here? Ah, play. No, I don't. I don't want to. I want to look at this. I want to look at this. What's the name? Save for its sounds. They lie close by. Look close around. Those are the tiles. For creatures, both small and great, pave for the way. Saran. So it's S E R. S E R A N. S E R A N. S E R. Spider. Elephant. Rabbit. Antelope. Newt. All right, I did it. What am I supposed to do now? Saran, Saran, S E R A N. This is just to walk through it. Well, let's see. Oh, I had it. It just didn't make any cool noises or anything, and I assumed that I had not. I'm like, did I do that right? Ooh. Hi. Scary dude. Who are you? Ooh. The Essex is Serengeti. An echo of the first mage and pirate captain Saran, who once derived value from only earthly things. Long ago, I concealed them at this place, which is beyond, beyond what a wealthy man do dream. Does the thirst for treasure bring you here? Are stones and coins your reason for risking your precious life? They are, though I care little for such things. I am seeking to return to a home from which I was unjustly taken to parents whom I cannot recall. My death occurred here in a time beyond your reckoning. Your life, a mere moment, is of no concern. The treasure, my only care, binds my soul to this place. Do you desire it? I desire what I need to reach my homeland safely. Without your treasure, I am doomed. Then a chance you shall have to claim it. You have demonstrated your cunning and skill. Now a more important trial begins. This island once belonged to the realm known as Daventria, when land and sea once met as equals upon the earth. Daventria? Oh, Daventry! Nice! Greatest among us was its ruler. Oh. King Legs. <laughs> Here he is. He created the greatest of treasure, orbs of power, to aid the land in crisis when he fell at the hands of his betrayer. The orbs were lost, scattered about the realm and beyond. One orb contained the power to heal the very earth itself. How might I do this? In order, the, in order of value lies, in, in the order of value lies your salvation. Choose well, and the treasure kept here for the past thousand years shall be yours. Choose poorly, and you shall die. Oh, oh I didn't hear that last part. <laughs> for all you know, this could be a sacrificial altar. You hope you're not an offer. Okay. I didn't hear the last part of what he said. I'm going to save it in a different place so I can just deal with it if I need to, but. 
Oh gosh, guys. I missed that last little bit. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the epitome of academic education. Consume it today. Conceive it tomorrow. It is a magnificent jewel. It is the craft of construction. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for education and see if that's the right thing. Now choose the second. Oh, what's most important? Oh, no, guys. I did this in the wrong order. Okay. I did this in the wrong order because this should be first. Oh, boy. All right. Now pick the third. Yeah, I did it in the wrong order. They're gonna it's gonna murderize me. Your value true value eludes you. Alright. Your priorities might need some adjustment. Well maybe I should listen to what he's saying instead of getting distracted by things. Alright. Hello loud music. I've missed you. No, I have not. Alright. So obviously the book is not first. I think it's food, construction tools, literature, and none of this mess. So I'm going to go food. Because if you don't have that, you're dead. Uh, you need to be able to build things. And then you need knowledge. But you don't really need that crappy thing. If you have all this, you don't need that. If you have food and a place to live and a book to read, I guess you don't need that. There we go. You've chosen well. The treasure shall be yours. Take it, and the worthless trinkets contained within. Okay. Quick save it. Just save it, just in case. Just in case, guys. Ooh. Sounds. The pirate captain may look kindly upon you, keeping your share of the gold. Better leave it in the chest. So I touched something in it. Went in there. I don't know what did. Farewell. 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 Oh, good. I didn't have to walk all the way back. Did you get the treasure? Yep. Well, you've proved you're worth something at least for now. Maybe we won't be killing you just yet. Into the boat. Move it. After you return from Treasure Island, you spend several more days as a cabin boy. Oh boy. Get off your bunk, you lazy landlubber. Get to the galley and get the stove running. Oh, more chores. This game has more chores than any other King's Quest, I think. Alright, how? I can't even see where I'm going. I'm gonna assume it's this way. Is, it this? Is that the way I'm supposed to go? There we go. Can I talk? Let me save it here. Let me see, can I talk to you? I don't like the, the working conditions. I feel that they're unsafe. I feel they're very unsafe. So, I'll be going now. Alright, let's go in here and talk to him. What are you doing here? Sorry. You keep causing treasure in here or maybe I'll make you walk the plank. Alright, let's get up on here. I guess I gotta go... Oh no, I didn't dude, no, I'm not going back down here. I'm going I'm going up. <sighs> Gwiden. He's just getting his workout in. He's like, I need to get these abs. Get this core stronger. Alright. Chores, 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 chores. Yay, chores. Get the stove. Do I have anything? Oh, what is this I have? I have this green orb with renewing energy. There we go. Put it in. It's an old wood stove. I take it it's lit. I've done my chore. Done my chore. What else can I do? Yeah, I should have gone down this way last time. Let me just save it again. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Use your hands to go down ladders. I didn't get to see the rest of the ship. 
And it's just an odd design, I think. Anything interesting? Towards a destination. Alright, well, let's go over here. Can I go anywhere? Is there anything interesting? I guess not. If I had my stuff, I could make a storm. I might do something. Okay, come on, quiet and move. Oh gosh, guys. <sighs> oh, come on. As you sink, you hear the crew rooting for the shark. Now you know the penalty for disturbing the peace. So being clumsy is the death sentence. Oh gosh, we're not gonna live very long. It looks like a sail, but also looks like smoke coming out of there. Okay, quiet and let's not do that. Let's go. Uh, let's go this way. We're gonna go maybe down and see what's going on. Let's walk this way and talk to this guy. Anything else? Might as well ask for more chores while I'm at it. The upper deck could use with a good scrubbing. Now get moving. Oh, well, I shouldn't have asked that. I shouldn't have asked for more chores because the answer is if you ask for more chores, you get more chores. That's always the way, isn't it? All right. Nope, I didn't want to go down, but I will. Nope, I wanted to go up, but you took me down. <laughs> I don't go all the way down and back up again. I'm really into my workout, guys. I'm at CrossFit, apparently. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. All right, so I need to, I don't even know which deck I'm supposed to swab. You should refrain from careless go. Is it here? I don't even know what he said. I'm not trying to be careless gallivanter, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's no, there's no anything to swab though, really. Strutting around its four. Okay, well, I don't know how to get anywhere to like scrub the deck either. Here we go. Oh, he's gonna fall in. He's gonna fall in, and I'm gonna die. Oh boy. Bye. All right, this time I'm not going to ask for chores. <sighs> Hi, Sharky. All right, so now I've done the chore he asked me to do. I think I need to go down to that basement again because it keeps sending me down there. I might as well go down there and see what's going on. I guess it's not technically a basement in the ship. I guess it's a hold. You think I'd be used to sneaking around by now? Is any of my stuff in these boxes? No, I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to check out this gem I got, but in the privacy of the. I don't know what's this called the bilge. I don't know. I'm not nautical. I think the only she shanty I know is who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Sponge pants. Sp SpongeBob SquarePants, of course. All right. Can I do anything with it? Oh, well, that's always good. Once again, you have magic you don't know how to use. Where's my wand? I want my wand back. Hi, rats. Can I catch one? I know, but... Oh, okay. You have no business looking through other people's stolen property. I think I do. Alright, is there anything interesting... Tia Six Square Bob Sponge Pants, not a great name. <laughs> Too large to fit. That's what the knockoff toys were at uh, the knockoff Toys R Us. Oh, look, the rats are talking. Did you see the boy they brought along? Yes. What about him? The last passenger they took ended up on the slave market. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Remember the emergency plan. In case of firestorm or plague, find a money pouch and hide. 
These things are always be the first to be saved. That's true. Well, not always, but on a pirate ship, I'm sure. Sh pirate ship, I'm sure that's true. If I can speak and not unintentionally swear. All right. Oh, that's part of the ship steering. What's this over here? Like a window. I'm gonna be in big trouble if I can't figure out how to do stuff. Alright, what's that there though? I wanna know what that is. Those weird this is an arrow shape. It's holding you. Oh come on. Shaking the foundations won't help you. Okay. Even if you could. I guess that's true. Even if you could. So they're definitely not taking me home. Obviously. Mm. If you could, you know where you were. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Alright, so let me see. I guess I need to get another chore from him. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Go back here. Go back here. Alright. Anything interesting? Empty and uninteresting. And they're just as cramped, but at least I could hide stuff underneath my cot. Okay, you're not gonna let me buy, are you? He's very aggressive. Check under his bed. Thank you, zombie man. Though no more hints, so that might be incorrect. It might be an incorrect hint. <laughs> there isn't a sheet clean enough to swipe. No, pretty much. Oi. Is that a joke, zombie man? That was a joke, wasn't it? Ceiling and floor. Alright, let me talk to him and see what else he has for me to do. How do I scrub it though? As long as you make yourselves useful, we might not use you as an anchor just yet. Alright, yeah, but I don't know how to... Are you just telling me to scram and explore some more? Because there's not that much more to explore. Tommy <laughs> Man says, yes it was. Well, I was like, he's giving me hints, but then I real er, I realized that no, you're not. I need to get in there. Do I have anything else? They took away my shovel too. I didn't even get to use my shovel really. Let's see if I can look out this window and see anything cool. Since they're not gonna really tell me. Beyond the porthole the ocean rises and falls, rises and falls. Okay. Alright, let me see if I can go up to the crow's nest. I don't know how I can I can swab the deck if there's no swabs. Where's the Q-tips, guys? Alright, let's go up and see what happens. Hi-ho! Surely he's not going to murderize me now. A burly pilot has noticed you from inside the crew's nest. Before you can react, he yells, You're dead meat, bucko, and slashes you with his sword. He misses, but you lose your balance, and down you tumble to your death. Oh! Well, okay, so that's not a good idea. There's so few places to go. I need, like, something to save me, like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Alright. I've already lit the thing in here. There's something in the, the kitchen I can find? Is there another Gwyden journal in here? There's something hidden in the... That's not... Uh... Oh, there's the mop. That's how you mop stuff. Alright. You can't use the item here. Okay, so if you use that here... He didn't even really tell me to do it, but I will. Can I use this here? Oh... Okay, boring. Alright. So can I just keep that then? That would be nice. 
Alright, so I have that. Now I can swab things. Maybe he'll give me a chore to clean the captain's quarters and I'll find my stuff. I have a magical wand sitting somewhere on this ship. Totally unusable. Do you know what I'm saying that is, guys? There's a magic wand sitting here somewhere. Completely unusable. Oh, I went the wrong way. Can I use this here? Does it help me with anything? No, oh, look, I can go up here now. Whee! Whee! I'm a very diligent cleaner, I have to say. Alright, so that's not helpful. But it almost was. Alright, let's go up here. I'm going to keep that broom, or mop, or whatever it is. Combination broom mop. You never know. Let me get another chore from the guy. Let me see if he gives me chores where I can just explore things. Oh, wrong way. There's not even a helpful parrot to give me clues. Alright. There's ores over there. Can I take one of those? Alright. I think I gotta get out of this place. It's the last thing you ever do. Uh, I already did. Alright, maybe I'll do something. Can I grab this? If you were in a rowboat, you don't need a lifeboat. The ship's not sinking. Can we make it sink? Because I would love to get in a rowboat and take my chances out there where the sharkies are. Alright, I'll go back up here and I'll do what he asked me to do because he's grumpy. Seems like another thing with the wizard. Where it's like, he's like... Better go do that chore before I find out you didn't do it and I'm mad about it. Since I'm clear of what deck he means, I think I'm just going to do all the decks. <laughs> These boots are made. Can I just do it here and can you just take me around then? Oh, I have to go all the way over. Bum 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 bum. Ah, oh, she just feels familiar, doesn't it, Gwyden? I'd been working on the railroad, on the ship road, all the live long day. I think there'd be a loose board with like a clue or something that would pop up. It would be nice. Alright, so you've done all that. He's just, I need to go down and get another shore from him. You need, I need to get, have some direction here. I need a plan again. This game is about p finding plans. Getting plans. Forming plans. I'm 175 out of 210. I'm so close to the end of the game. I'm almost there. Can't figure out how to use my green orb at all. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah! You took your merry time. Go over to, to the captains and dust the shelves. Yes, I can dust the shelves. And I'm going to save it because dusting shelves is important. It is. It's so important. It is. It is. It is important. Alright. Alright, let me go in here. Where's the feather duster? Oh, there it is. Good thing we know how to recognize it from the wizard's house. Dust, dust, dust. Just leave me alone in here, sir. I'm sure I won't search through all your drawers and try and find my stuff. That's really it? Ah, oh, boy. Alright, I'm going to stay over here real quick. So I want to try and look around and see if he yells at me. This bunk is closed. Can I open it? You're not close. Come on, game. I'm right there. Without the captain noticing. If you were one of them. Can I go out this way? Just take me someplace? Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Alright, so I can go out here, but I can't really do anything, right? It's not a bad way to shower. There's mist here. 
I want my thing where I can just touch it and teleport out of here. Wait, is there anything else? A lamp by his bedside. Or a feather size. The chart traces the ship's route. You don't recognize the continent except for the one you just left. Entry into his log. Alright, what's this over here? Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna have to do chores till I figure something out. Give me another chore. I'm not afraid of hard work. Nope, 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 nope. Why can you just please just walk where I tell you to walk? Like, oh my gosh. Oh, he's gone. Uh oh. Meanwhile, I've seen the scene before in King's Quest 2. There you are. I have been looking all over the castle. Where else would I be? Where else could I be? Okay. Morose much, Graham? What are you doing? It serves not to dwell on matters beyond your eyes. I skipped past what you said and I didn't want to do that. My wife, do you not feel my anguish? Your own daughter has been taken and I allowed it. You had no choice. So I guess she's a little bit cold and unfeeling then. There's always a choice. True, you might have chosen Daventry's destruction years ago. You defied the dragon. Even now, the flames still lick at our crops. Imagine the suffering had you resisted further. As for your anguish, every day I weep for Rosella and her son, Alex. No, I cannot bear to hear his name. Not now. As you wish, but you must not let this destroy you. Daventry cannot afford to be without its king, nor I without the man I wed. Get on with your life. Move on, right? That's terrible. Were it only that he were here, I would do anything to heal my beloved realm to make everything right. Rosalina! Oh boy. Orders, Captain? We're heading for Usperia. Time to put all that booty to good use. Hi, hi, oh. What is it? Uh, that course will take us close to Daventry, won't it? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I must be confessing something to you, Captain. I'd be getting a tad nervous sailing cl close to Daventry with that dragon. I hear tell in these parts. Ah, you livy livered codfish. That beast sits over yon mountains, never come near the shore from what I hear. Hope you're right, Captain. Of course I'm right, you jelly-legged squid. That reminds me, when we reach Usperia, we'll see if we can, can't can sell our new youngin' to the markets. Should fetch a pretty price. Oh, and make sure there's someone guarding that hatch. We don't want him trying to make a break for Daventry Shore as we sail by. Aye, Captain. Oh, I'm going to be making a break for the shore. As the pirates spot land nearby, you are unceremoniously dumped in the cargo hold again to keep you from escaping. Oh, great. Alright, so, just quick save. Oh boy, here we go. 114. Alright, so I need to get out of here. Alright, I'm pretty sure this will be blocked off, but if it's not, I want to check it quick. Because I only have so much time. Oh, they didn't even really... What are they even doing? They threw me down there, but they didn't block off anything. Because look, I can get in here. Uh, all my stuff's in here. Retrieve your stolen ones. Are they for real, guys? Did this let me do that? Uh, that seems kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to save it. Uh, I don't know, 115. All right, I got all my stuff. All right, so what's this? <laughs> Storm brew. Okay. Can I just manufactured? All right, I need to. It appears the pirates anticipate your attempt. Seems to keep a close eye on you. Hey. Hey, as you sink, you hear the crew rooting for the shark. Alright, so I can't go out that way, but I got all my stuff. I got all my stuff, guys, so that's good. Can I do the invisibility thing? Alright, what is that? It's Storm Brew. Alright, can I use this on me? Oh, okay, I think it has to be... 
steam and fire, which makes me think. Uh, all right. Well, can I try this? What happens if I touch this? You rub the magic stone. Oh. It appears the pirates anticipated your appendix and decided to keep close on you. Oh, they kill me anyway. All right. So that's not a good plan. I'm going to have to... Okay. Let me see if I do the storm. Let's do the storm first. I'm glad that it works. I was kind of worried it would send me back to the um, land I just came from. All right. Let's do the... Let's do this thing first. Storm. Stormy brew. Turn anew. Yeah, you guys are going to have to deal with this. and It's going to be a hot mess. Oh, no. Well. Seems your storm spell has backfires. <laughs> okay. All right. So not the storm spell then. DS six is pesky pirate patrols. All right. Uh, is this a lamp? You're not one to read late. Yeah, but do I need it? All right. I just want to make sure, like, if there's anything I need in here. I got all my stuff, right? Okay. Do I need to look? Okay. Oh, good. I'm clicking on something. Curiously, you sneak a peek at the drawers. There's nothing of interest amongst the charts and logbooks. Really? Isn't it anything of interest? Okay. So, I have a flying thing that can let me fly. What is this? This is sleep powder. All right. Well, let's see if I can walk over here. I don't want to give it to myself, obviously. Let's walk over this way, and can I hit the guy with it? I'm supposed to go through here the other way. I have to go around. Okay, no, they haven't done this yet. Okay. What about this? Can I? There's nothing that can help you there. Okay, so. Well, what if I did the ship sinking now? This is not going to be a good idea, guys, but I'm going to start it anyway. Yep. Come on. I'm right near the lifeboat. I'm right there. I'm literally next to the lifeboat. Nope, didn't save me. Still dead. <laughs> uh, what a world. I think it's hilarious this can stink the ship, but um, it didn't do anything helpful to me. All right, restore. All right, so that wasn't really helpful. I got that already. All right, let's go. I need it. That's why I feel like the lamp is significant. I need. Let me check the bed before I go to. No, but I want to. Yeah. Can I start a fire with the lamp? Very frustrating. Where is the fire? Where is. It? If I go up, what does it do? Oh, oh, it doesn't give me time. I was hoping he would let me. Dead again! I was hoping he would let me hit him with a sleep powder or something. All right, so you're not close enough. I guess I'm not. Let me go back into the hold. See, if this was a real scenario instead of a King's Quest scenario, I would keep hitting that transporter thing until it sent me all over the ship until I finally was someplace. No, I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go back up there. I think it's hilarious that they can't. They just didn't tie me up. Like we can't be bothered to tie him up. We, we'll just keep throwing him down the hold until he's too annoying, and then we'll throw him to the sharks. There's got to be something I can do over here. Otherwise, why am I here? All right, all right, go over there. Quiet in. All right. So what's up there? There's an open grating above you. Okay, so what can I do that would help me with the open grating? I can be a fly, guys. I can be a fly. Would that be helpful? Subduing the pirates should be your first priority. Well, yeah, I guess, but... Uh... Alright. 
here pirates you can't use the item there you know what we're going where, do we know where we're going we'll be passing a beach near a big mountain range soon ah yes I've heard the pirates say that nobody ever crossed those mountains alive well I'm sure they didn't I don't care though we have no business smelling I want to jump up there oh do I have to carry the oh boy all right, I have to carry this thing back and see if I can go up there. This looks like it should do something over. No, I want to pick. Oh, guy, no. I don't want to. I don't. Oh. I didn't want to do that. All right. All right. Come on, brain. I want. This looks like such a cool pattern, but I think it's just a regular thing. All right, well, let's, I don't, uh, if you could, if you knew where we were, the map's right there. <sighs> all right, all right, so, just quick save, because I'm slightly better off, I guess. I talked to the rats again. All right. Well, I should be able to do them with all my magic stuff. Hmm. Alright, so going up is death. Going the only places I can go are back here. In the captain's room already took all my stuff back. Oh, this is what that leads up to. Can't hide underneath here, can I? Well, the ship could be sinking any minute. If you're in a rowboat. Okay. Can I just... Why, oh, can I just fly this way? Just let me fly away. I can fly straight up. There's no roof. Okay, what about this one? Can I fly like a fly? Subduing the pirates. I guess that means... Alright, let me try to do this. Can I be invisible now? It's not the right time to use the ointment. Alright, well... You're they're too attached to the ship. Alright, I can't. Alright. Well, I need something, game. Alright, so. Do 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 So, I was, while I'm doing this and trying to figure out what I'm doing, is there anything interesting right here? I was reading that they're making Gabriel Knight, which I don't know if you guys have played that yet. Um, it's another Sierra game that's point and click, but I think it was a little more adult for me, which is why I didn't play it as a kid. It's more like, um, I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to go straight up. Nope, they're just going to murderize me. They're remaking a version for, um, I think it's iPad. Like They're remaking a version. They had the original uh, person who crafted the story. She writes novels now, uh, do, and they interviewed her about the fact that they were redoing the game and they added some new puzzles in there and all kinds of stuff. So Activision was actually doing something with the Sierra property, which is what they bought. So she said that she thought point and click could come back because it's the perfect thing for the iPad or like tablets, like Android tablets, which is kind of true. Um, and I hope that really does happen because that would be really fun. Because honestly, I don't know, I find if you're playing a game that involves a lot of quick tapping, then you're in trouble. If you're on an Android tablet or an iPad. Alright. Alright, so what clue did I miss that I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing? Alright. Excuse me. Mm. Zombie Man says, cool. Yeah, I really, I really hope this is the beginning of some of the, uh, some revival of some of these. Because I think they're so fun. They're just, oh, why did I do that, guys? They're just going to kill me. I can't, it won't let me do anything. Ah. Woo! So it won't let me just fly away. I have to actually subdue the pirates. All right. Restore. I think I just, let me try. What happens if I, does the stone doesn't always take me to the same spot. So maybe I can get it to take me someplace better. 
Nope, they're waiting for me. I go. All right, let's try again. I just want to make sure 100% the stone isn't the way to go. Because it should be. So I, I think that would work well. All right, here we go. I'm also just going to save it over there with me holding the stone. Okay. With the magic stone. Well, that wasn't super exciting or helpful. That's oh, kind of a cool way to move around the ship. So the boat's up there. It won't let me look at anything like that. Pff, okay. So it took me back here. <laughs> okay, great. But I don't think there's... Is there anything interesting about this? The small box looks manageable. Steering mechanism. Oh, let's sabotage the steering mechanism. Do I have something I can do that with? Nope. Nope. I have a knife. Can I... I can't use the item here. can't use the item here. I have a knife, but I don't think I know how to use it any better than Graham knew how to use his, his sword. Alright, here we go. Irritating the angry cat faces there. Can't use the item here. Alright, so what do I have? I have this thing. I have this thing. Knife is big enough and sharp enough to carve a large roast. I have a spoon. I have a key that I no longer need. Alright. I don't need those ingredients anymore. Let me just make sure this isn't turned into something. Oh no, it's still the same thing. I was hoping it would it would tell me something cool. Alright. Alright. Okay, what can I do with the sleep powder? I want to just like throw it up, but that doesn't work that way. Every time I go up, I just instantly die. Let me use the invisibility thing now. When is the right time, game? When is the right time? If you could, you knew. And I can't be, you won't be the fly, which is what I want to do and just fly. Okay, so. I don't know, man. Can I do anything with the uh, with the magic wand? Can I can I use it anywhere? <laughs> What's the point of having a magic wand if you can't use it? Mm. All right. What about the sleeping powder? The air, this area of the ship is dim indeed, but it's still not dark enough to use the sleeping powder. Oh, so you have to use the sleeping powder someplace dark. Oh, don't go up there, guys. You're just going to get murderized. Yep, you're just dead. Alright. So it has to be dark. Can I use it? Alright. This is the advantage of looking through your inventory a billion times, guy, Because then you realize, like, oh, it needs to be really dark. What about back here? Bim Clunk. Hi, Bim Clunk! Bim Clunk says, cozy ship. It's got a writing desk and everything. Yeah, the captain's quarters is pretty sweet. Mine isn't so sweet. Alright. Can I use the sleeping pa well, I don't know what I'm going to put to sleep in here. Cause I guess I can put everyone to sleep. But then I'll, I'll miss my connection. Okay, so it has to be super dark. So that's not going to work. I want it to let me be a fly, but it's not going to let me be a fly. Stormy oh, no, 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 guys, I didn't want to do that. Hi, Bim Clunk. Uh, I just murderized myself again because I clicked on the wrong potion. Just let me turn into an eagle as the ship is sinking. That's all I ask. All right. So it's not dark enough. Is it dark all the way down here? Do I need to be in the basement area? So, Bim Clunk, I turned the wizard into a cat, which was awesome. You missed that. It was really cool. And, yeah, Bim Clunk says, oops. And I, I went with these guys. I thought they were going to take me back to Daventry. They kidnapped me because they're evil pirates. 
and they made me find this treasure and now they're 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 wanting to murderize me Bim Clunk says fly like an eagle fly to this to the sea fly like an eagle let my spirit carry me yeah that's what I wanted to do they wouldn't let me fly like an eagle Bim Clunk says the timer is still going what does that mean I don't know it hasn't turned green or red I don't think it means anything at this point is it dark enough to use my sleeping potion yeah they want to sell me they're passing by Daventry soon, but they want to sell me to slavers. Is it dark enough, though? I don't want any... Can I throw it up there? Where can I use it? So, they don't want me to escape to Daventry. It won't let me turn into an eagle or a fly in this area. I have... Uh, I believe this is the Storm Potion, which sinks the whole ship and I die. I have sleeping powder, which it won't let me use. I have an invisibility ointment, which it won't let me use. I have the amber stone that actually looks like a biscuit. Um, but when I use it, it just takes me to different parts of the ship and not, not been useful yet. So I have a magical wand that I don't know how to use. And I have this thing. What does this thing do? Can I do anything with it? Bim Clunk says, it's okay, I can try and watch and see. It's helpful to remind myself because I, maybe I can use the magic wand because I'm not figuring out the order of this. Combining the items has no effect. Alright. Oh, well, buddy, you should be, well, he shouldn't be glad he missed the ship, but, because he's dead. Shaking them won't help. You have an aversion to mass. I don't. I don't have any aversion to mass splinters. I just need to get out of here alive. I want to climb up here, and I don't. It's not going to help me. But so I got to figure out some way to subdue all the pirates on the ship, which to me says sleeping powder. But again, it's not really telling me. It's over here though. Steering mechanism. The rope ladder dangles part way down. That doesn't help me. All right. So basically, I've got to get out of here. I've got to get to Daventry before they get too far away. I managed to get all my stuff out of here. I didn't find anything else. There's How can there be nothing in here? There's got to be something. Can't I just start a fire? That might be helpful. I can escape then. You're not one to read late. No, I want... Oh, boy. The captain keeps a lamp by his bedside. That seems dangerous on a ship. Okay. Anything interesting underneath the rugs? It's damp. Oh, it's damp. Everything in here is damp. Oh, it's damp in here. There's one I can use where it's damp. Now I don't have the ability. I don't remember. Oh, come on. It is the right time to use the invisibility ointment. Okay, well, I want to use... Can I use the sleeping powder? I'll use it. I can't use it on his bed. I want to put him to sleep. To use the sleeping powder. I can only use it in the dark, which makes it seem like, you know, so they're just falling asleep. Is it really magic? Or do people fall asleep in dark rooms when it's late at night? <laughs> Alright, I have a key that doesn't work for anything. Alright, so... Hmm. Alright. I don't... I guess... Let's try this again. Oh, I'm getting murderized. Alright. Oh, come on, there's gotta be a way. I'm so close. I'm really close to finishing the game. Look how close I am. At least I think I'm close. I hope I'm close. Alright. Alright, so I can go... The only places I can go without getting killed are here, back here, and down in the hold, which means the answers are there somewhere. Somewhere. I'm just... I'm not seeing them. I wish I could fly like a fly, because then I could go. You should leave it shut. Why? I want to open it. Bim Clunk says, these early Sierra games are so hard. I was watching some police cast one, and I wonder if people overlook some things because of amazing the play games on a computer. Yeah, it's hard. They, they are kind of murderizing you. The remake, they've actually, I think, softened it up a little bit. Hi, uh, Jackie Joe 07 King's Quest. Good luck with the game. 
Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I need all the luck I can get. I die a lot in these games. Alright, this is Okay, so the sheets... What can I do with them? Can I spray uh, sleeping powder all over them so everyone will fall asleep? That's going to be too late. Uh, I want to grab these ores. I want to actually fight, but of course you can't fight in a King's Quest game. They're too attached to the ship. Ha ha ha. It, you wouldn't fit. Besides, why hurry back down? There's nothing that can help you here. You're all alone, Gwyden. Stop trying to better your life. It just ends up worse. Alright. I really want to be a fly. I don't understand why I can't be. No, I, I want to escape as a fly and then I'll get I'll turn into an eagle. Actually, I want to turn into an eagle is what I want to do. Yes, I do have enough room. It's all, there's no ceiling up there. To write a story about your life. Um, let me look at the quills. It said to me with the quills before that they're all in the right order. Bim clunk. I like how the little boots move. I know, it's very, when I first started playing this, when they did that little, let me out icon, it was very distracting. Like, I had to remind myself, like, this is how you move. It's it just, it looks so cute. All right. Last time he had a bunch of quills in order. Arranged in order of feather size. Can I use any of those feathers? There's nothing of interest. There's nothing of interest in here. There's got to be something of interest. Sorry, Jackie Joe, you came during your time. I got so much done earlier. I turned the wizard into a cat. I did all this amazing stuff. You came at the part where I'm like, you see endless ocean. Can I fly out of here? Like, I feel like I should be able to do that. There's plenty of room to fly. Uh, yeah, I know, but how can I subdue the pirates from here? I have the sleeping powder, but it's not dark enough. Is there anything in here that's interesting? Let's me open it again. Jackie Joe says, yeah, this part is a little tricky. Don't give me any, I, I like to figure out my own unless I am desperate and then I beg for hints, but it's damp, it's damp. All right, it's damp. There's one of the ones, why is that important that it's damp? Some of the spells, okay, that's the, I don't want to do this one on accident again because I keep killing myself accidentally grabbing the wrong bottle. Jackie Joe says, no problem, if I'm the same way. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I did. I played through King's Quest 1 and King's Quest 2. In King's Quest 2, I did have to ask help from from a lot of people because <laughs> I really did not get that one. All right, so I have a knife. Can I cut things with a knife? Where can I use it? Can I use it here? Where can I use that? I want to be able to cut off. Can I at least vandalize the captain's cabin? If I can't do anything else, it's going to kill me anyway. All right, what about this? I don't want to lie around. I want to search the bed. I want to pick up the lamp and set the, the place on fire. Hmm. So it's damp. I got a bowl. It's not why it's that's very true. It's not wise to mix magical ingredients without instructions. I need to get out of here. It's damp over here. I want to be able to use my invisibility. Like that should come in handy to use the ointment. You see that it's not the right time. Why not? Alright. Hmm. Okay, so I think there's a, there's a sunbeam. Every time I go up, it doesn't give me a single chance to do anything. You leave it shut. I don't want to leave it shut. I want to open it up and get out of here. All right, so there's the lifeboat. Can I get on that? Ship's not sinking. A pair of oars. I can't pull those off, can I? If you were in a rowboat. Well, yeah, I could be in a rowboat. Hmm. There's nothing that can help you. Let's go back here for a reason, but I don't know why. see 
and they're just as cramped. It's, there's more stinky people in there with you. Mass through both the ceiling and the floor. Can, I can't climb up or do anything, can I? They're too attached to the ship. There's nothing that can help you here. Hmm. I've got a knife that I'm not going to use to hurt anybody with. All right, let's all right, let's just start kissing the stone and see where we end up. Nope. So I wish I could just do it quick again and be like. There's spray. All right. I'm gonna quick see. I need to read something about these spells again. I think it was 72 that I was going back to. We'll see. Oh, I might have already covered over it already. Yep, I might have already restored it already. I wanted to see because some of them say into the drink with you. Boom clunk says pretty much. Let's see if I can go back. Nope, that was an earlier attempt to do something crazy. All right. Uh, let's try this down here. We'll go down 93. Nope, I just did that one. <laughs> I just want to read what they say, because they say specifically... Nope, what's the next one? That one should be... I don't know why I did 85 there, that's weird. Oh, nope, that's not it either. So after 85, 100. Here we go, perfect. Except for the really loud music. All right, I want to see. I want to see what these say. Becoming invisible. Okay, so to cast the spell, you rub the ointment on your body in a place where there's both fire and mist. Makes enough for one application. Bimplunk says nice music. Actually, I do like the music. Um, it's hard to tell in chat if you're being sarcastic or not. But the problem is, it's so loud you can't hear me when you, when you try and. Okay, that's not helping. I don't need the enhancing. Wave the magic one. Put the power in the. Okay, grind three acorns. Acorn, concoct a deep sleep fix from places of much lesser light to bring them, to a long good night from places of much lesser light. So you need to be in a place of much lesser light, but it's not less enough. All right, teleportation. That one, this guy got. Uh, all right, I'm not. Hmm. This draft comes in handy. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna load back up my game. So I need to be someplace. Uh, Bim Clunk. No, I like the music from the room save, but the music in this place, the book is kind of scary. Yes, it's very ominous. It's way more ominous. I guess the situation is ominous, but it makes you feel so much more tense about the situation. And I kind of like it about that music, but uh, I can't talk and I can't be heard over it. And the music volume controls are very, it's either on loud or it's not on at all. All right. So I have to be someplace of lesser darkness. What would be... That's where I thought I would go. All the way. Let me try down again. Let me go all the way down. Cause that's pretty dark, but there's still light there. I feel like I could get if I could get underneath the uh, underneath the boat. Maybe I could it could be dark enough. You guys gonna give me some more hints? I need you guys to give me some hints here. Rats. Ooh, nope. Did you hear the pirates talking? They're taking. They can bring a cat on board. Oh no! <laughs> no, not my wizard. No, don't scare me like that. Not, not a wizard cat. It's true. I heard them complaining about too many mice being on board. Okay. I miss my thirty-five cousins. They never did come back from the lab. Are you guys the rats from Nim? All right. Gotta be. These got animals never give me enough clues. All right. Okay. So. What about way over here? Is this lesser enough light to do the... Bim Clunk says, oh yeah, the music level should be all similar properly. Yeah, they just kind of, they have an adjustable thing, but I find it doesn't work. Okay, is this the... 
can't use that item here. Then Plunk Secret of Nim is so good. Yes, it is so good. I watched the first movie when I was a kid, and then I found that there's a sequel to it, a book, and I read that, and I was so excited. I was so happy. No, can I put this in here? Alright, but I need to... I want to put it in there and then offer someone a drink. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> okay. I'm so frustrated because I'm so close, too. I, w I want to mix up a bunch of magical ingredients and just... Try this again. Let me get. All right. So this is the sleeping powder. Can't use the item here. You can't use the item here. Can't use the item here. You can't use it here. You can't use it here. All right. How am I gonna get up here? I want to get meddling with. You know what, Gwyden? Bimclunk. I never read the book, but I watched the first movie as a kid. I didn't see much of the sequel movie. Bim Clunk. I watched the first movie as an adult, too. Yeah, I have, too. I really like that movie. I like Don Booth, Bluth movies. They kind of um, surprise you in a lot of ways. What's the space one that they did that I really enjoyed? They mixed 3D animation with 2D animation, and I can't remember the name of it, but I really enjoyed it. Okay. If you could, you knew where you were. Well, I would know where I was if you would serve you best left where it is. Okay, there's gotta be. I'm not waiting for any kind of promotion. I need to, like. This is damp. Why is it damp? Yeah, there's a space movie with 2D and 3D animation by Don Bluth. It came out in, like, I think, like 2000 or 2001. I cannot remember the name, but I really like it. Um. Oh, Titan AE. That's what it is. It's a fun movie. I mean, it's not, you know, if you're looking for something to blow your mind, then no, but it's awesome. I think it's fun. It was fun for me to watch. I just think his characters are always, always fun. The animation's a little bit different. Yeah, Titan AE, yep. first time I watched it, I didn't even realize they were doing 2D and 3D animation together. I thought, I didn't even really notice it, and then when they were talking about that. I guess a lot of people didn't like that about that movie, but I enjoyed it. You don't need a lifeboat. This ship's not sinking. Right, there's gotta be... I like the... Uh, Bim Clunk says, I like the land before time. One, all dogs go to heaven. Yeah, those are all fun movies. The sequels kind of, I mean, like, I think, like, Disney sequels, too. Like, sometimes they can go really, they're not, they're, uh, they're a cash grab move sometimes. Dog, All Dogs Go to Heaven is, like, a terribly sad movie. I feel like movies in the 80s and 90s, kids' movies were, they could be really, really sad. <laughs> it's damp. Why is it damp? Okay. No, there's gotta be chart is tech. The one you just left. Hmm, I don't it's not helpful to dust again, is it? I thought Titan AE I I think it was just a um visually it was interesting to me. I thought it was visually interesting and the music was fun. Alright. Why did I just dust? Because, I don't know. I think I have a problem. Alright, so if I can't... What can I do, guys? I did like Five Goes West. I did, too. The funny thing is, I had not watched this... Um, I did watch Five... I, 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 that was a good one. But the third one actually just... It came on Netflix recently. 
and I watched it. Um, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> they made the, the Five Goes West into a dream and they're back in New York City. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know what this is. All right. Uh, you're not one to read late. Okay, so nothing down there. I never even knew there was a third and it popped up on Netflix and I laughed. Oh, I'm dead. <sighs> Sharkies! Okay. There's gotta be. I'm just gonna start. Okay, that's not helpful. Brave Little Toaster is one of my favorites. But I don't know if that was Don Bluth. I thought that was, um... I'm dead again. I love the Brave Little Toaster. That is another extremely sad movie. It's like telling the parents to deal with their own mortality while it's entertaining the children. Sorry. Cat, stop it. I, I actually do have a black cat that looks like the cat in this game. And he's currently eating a bunch of paper and I don't know why. Um, yeah, I love the Brave Little Toaster. I thought that was just a great movie. I don't think, I think it's, um, I think it's actually one of the founders of Pixar that did that one. Um, um, I can picture him. He's got glasses. He's in charge of Pixar slash Disney animation now. I really enjoyed that one, but like the junkyard where they're like singing that song about like how they used to be great and now they're terrible and they get thrown into like the metal compactor. Nope, that just murderizes me. Oh, let me let me use my stone. Let me just kiss my stone one last time. Uh, okay. All right. So I have to be able to use these spells. Why would I have them if I can't use them? Mm, it won't let me use this one. Is there anything special with this? Let me furnish from ivory. Creamy white in color. You think it would be furnished from ivory? I've got a storm that if I make kills everybody on board, including myself. I've got an invisibility ointment that will not let me be used. A leather pouch securely tied and filled with coarse brown sleep powder. Uh, you, I did manufacture it. I'm very proud of it. I cannot use it for some reason. I have to be in a dark place to use it. A darker place. I don't know what that means. Uh, Bim Plunk says, Worthless, it's a good song. And the song about more, more, more. Yeah, it's about, it's a, it's a movie that's supposed to be for kids. It's about death and the consumerism that consumes your soul. Like, <laughs> and about how we're all, and all oh, the creepy scene with the guy that, act, I mean, who actually does a cool job. He refurbishes stuff and he's like, like spinning the vice. Like as a kid, that was so terrifying. Like he's spinning the vice and he, like takes apart the one thing and rips out its guts and puts it in another appliance and you're just like no so these are the kind of movies that made me like and basically imagine my things as people and then be terrified to throw anything away and be sad when we got a new car like that kind of stuff it's like my mom's like why are you so sad in the new car the old car will someone else love it probably not No, we can't throw the broken toaster away, Mom. All right. All right, so where's my brave little toaster when I need him? That's just the journal. I can't use that. I can't come by. Cat, stop eating paper. I'm sorry, like. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he is ripping it up and chowing down. I don't think paper is that delicious, bud. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Mm. I just want to turn into... Okay, I want to be a fly then. Let me fly. Well, okay. So I have to be in a dark area. Carl's all have sad stories. 
in that song. Sorry, I'm, Boom Punk says the car singing about belonging to a wed couple or something as it's on the junk bill. Yeah, it's like there, some of them are like shocked they've been abandoned. It's very sad. I wanna okay. You don't. I know, but I I will only. Know, you don't. Okay. Hmm. Nothing that you can do. Nothing you can do. I can't go in there. I can't. Oh, what? Can I go all the way back here and use this? Like it's darker back here. There's no, there's no uh, light in here. Can I go all the way in the back and do the sleeping potion? Yeah, all the cars in that song. Oh, wrong bottle. I keep wanting to pick up that storm. It's like the final solution. Can't use that item. But it's still not dark enough to use the sleeping powder. Bim Plunk says, I like those cartoons because they were so sad, dark, and kind of mature. I mean, that's, that's what's to enjoy about them, but I think it's interesting that the parents had to sit there and be reminded that they're growing older every day and will soon be replaced by their children as they, as they crawl their way towards death. It's just sort of an interesting choice to make parents pay for that movie and then sit there with their children and watch. Um, no, I enjoy those movies too. They, when they have the other layers, that's what makes them good and interesting. Uh, it's damp. Why is that important that it's damp? Can I do anything with that? Can I like... I can't use the item there. What can I use there? I want to use... I want to use the knife. Uh, Dumb Plunk says, ow. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where it's interesting to me. Uh, can't I... Stabby, stabby, stabby. Alright. Bim Kwong says, I did watch the Disney stuff too, the, like the Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, that was definitely highest quality. That stuff was uh, really good. Although I watched, I remember thinking like Beauty and the Beast was like the best movie. And it's not that it's a bad movie, but um, I started to watch it recently and I realized like the animation's like very... But the colors are very pale, like it's very, it's not quite as breathtaking as I thought it was as a kid. But it was comparatively to what's out. Like they use computer, computer animation in that movie a lot more than I thought they did. Alright, so what, is, what can I even do here? I can't go up deck at all. Let's just leave your mark. It doesn't matter game, it's gonna kill me anyway. Why shimmy? Can I shimmy up? So it's zombie man. Try the bowl, maybe. I don't know if it works. Uh, I don't know. I'll try. I'll 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 take a hint, zombie man, from you. We'll see. But the last time when you, all right. Nope. Oh, on the wick. Let's see if it. Can't use that in there. No. Should be at least be able to throw the bowl at people. That should be a perk. Bim Clunk says it was new, maybe the computer animation of that um, scope or something. Yeah, I think. Well, I think it's the same reason why there's CGI that looked okay at the time and now looks terrible is because when you don't, when you haven't seen anything like it before, your brain I think kind of goes, "Oh, that's okay," and then later on, it doesn't look right. All right. Just, I just want to be able to let me fly away. No. No. Okay. I want to. Hmm. Them clunks. Toy Story probably looks off. You can definitely see in Toy Story, like one, two, and three, just the progression of computer animation. The nice thing about Toy Story is it didn't pretend to be anything else, so it was. <laughs> Zombie Man. Okay, Jen. Sorry. I, I just don't remember the ship point part. That's all. That's fine. I th I'm not quite 100% desperate yet. We'll, we'll get there. I did so much this time. Like, I know if I extend this, it means if I stop, which I'm, I'm close to my stopping time, I know what's going to happen is I'm going to finish I'm going to finish it up really quickly next time and then I have to start my new game and I'm not. All right, 
there's gotta be something to do down here that I'm not... No, I don't want to go back up there. I want to... Nope, nope, nope. I want to... Never mind. At the time, though, it was probably like, whoa, probably. But I'm talking about the movies you're talking about. Yeah, I think at the time, things are really... That's why they started using CGI so much, because they're like, whoa, look at all the stuff we can do. But then they didn't realize later, like, a lot of the stuff in the early Toy Story movies and early movies, it almost looks like it's not fully rendered. You're like, oh, they, this is... This is... They haven't completely done it yet. Bim Clunk. I avoided Pocahontas' as a little boy for whatever reason, but recently it was on TV and it looks good. It probably does look good. I never watched Pocahontas um, because at the time, I think I was pretty upset that it wasn't historically accurate, which I felt like it kind of cheating the deal. Like it's weird. I think I was like, can't you tell the real story without making it a romance? Because it's weird that she's like, she was like 12 and he was really old. And uh, they have them in a romance together just to make it more convenient. But I, you know, it probably, I'm sure it was pretty beautiful. You have no business meddling with stolen property. I don't know why. I was a weird kid that way with stuff. I was definitely a rule follower and a uh, purist in some things, I guess. I don't know. All right. Uh, is this dim enough, maybe? There's light streaming through, so I don't think so. Bim clunk. Yeah, I guess that's Disney. Yes, it is. It is Disney. Ah, oh, guys. I really want to figure this out. Where can I use it? What is this weird arrow thing that's pointing up? It's holding you. That's the hold that's holding you. Even if you could alter the ship's course from here, you'd be sailing blind. I don't care. You act like I care about that. Is there anything in this box? Small box looks manageable. If this wasn't the remake, I'd assume that I did something terribly wrong and, I, and it's trapped me in this hold forever. But I know that they probably, they wouldn't have let me go on unless I had everything I needed because that's more their philosophy. All right, I know if I go out there, they kill me too. Rope extends from the opening above. Where's the rope? Staying adjacent to the captain's quarters, this room houses the controls for the ship's rudder. A rope ladder extends. Oh, I thought it said a rope. I was like, there's a rope? And that's not a rope ladder. Well, I guess it is. It just looks like... I guess on my little screen it doesn't look... If you could, if you knew where you were. If you could, if you knew where you were. You should leave it shut. Why? Alright. Uh, there's gotta be... There's gotta be... I would love to subdue the pirates, but... Bim Clunk. Yeah, I don't know the story of Pocahontas. I only caught a segment of the Disney movie recently. Yeah, it looked beautiful. Sounds right. Alright. I know they spent a lot of money on it at the time, definitely. They were on a roll. I want to be able to climb up on this and just, like, pop up. But it won't let me. I kind of climb. I want to climb up on you. Uh, there's nothing to help you. All right. And how I have all these magic spells and I can't use them. This is a King's Quest problem. I have all these magic spells and I can't use them. And my timer's going up. I'm at five now. Uh, I know if I if I stop it here, and I come back on Monday, I'll be able to figure it out, and it'll be something so dumb and easy and then I'll be like Wah. and I'll have to set up the other game instead of doing what I want to do which is finish this up and then uh well maybe not I mean it's 170 out of 110 oh, there's gotta be there's gotta be something I keep saying these are wet but I don't know if it helps me or not it's damp it's damp yeah okay how does that help me what could I use on something that's damp? It's not the right time to use it. Well, what else could I use? Okay, can I use, can I burn that? Can I set that on fire? 
Can't use that item here. Can I use it anywhere? Oh. If I put it on me, it reads it for me. That's nice. Okay. As the ship's pills pass... Oh no, guys! I ran out of time! Oh... Uh, if only you'd bought that return ticket. You've missed your stop. Oh, guys, it actually just, like, mercy killed me because it says I... That means I only have nine minutes. Once it gets to the five, it's too far. Okay. Uh, won't let me go up there. I know. Uh-oh. Now, uh. All right, let me... Let me back up. And, like, actually back up to where I can go up without being murderized. Alright, so this is the part where I realize my stuff's in here. Can I talk to him? Don't ruin the white writer's work. Okay. So I dusted. Go up. Alright. Oh, I know what I didn't check. I didn't check to see if I could use a sleeping powder in here, which was where it makes sense. Okay. Oh, it's very dark in here, guys. It's very, very dark in here. But I don't have the sleeping powder. That's right. I don't have it. Ah, dang it. I was, like, all excited. I can use my sleeping powder. Wait, I don't have it here. meal that would never come. <laughs> is there anything over there? Its top is deeply gouged. It's an old wood stove. It's a barrel full of rum. Just want to see if there's anything that I could use to help me. I can never go up in the <laughs> DS6's condor powder. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ugh. Oh. It means I'm missing some little tiny thing. Oh, let me go over here and do it right. All right. There's nothing over here that's interesting, right? Deep cloudless blue. I will use my my spell to drown you all. Yeah, this definitely feels. Well, the last time I was super frustrated by the wizard cookie, and I shouldn't have been. I should have just. Mm. All right, so stride over this way. Yeah, there's nothing dark over here really either. Oh. <laughs> well, they killed me anyway. So there's no area that's any darker than anything else. I just want to see if there's anything I can do in the store. Uh, wherever I was last time in the store. There you go. The vessel's wake aids your sense of its direction. Anything else? Where can I use this item? Bim Clunk says, I don't know how cartoons are these days. I haven't really seen any many Pixar things. I don't know what Disney is up to except Star Wars, maybe. <laughs> the book, not a cartoon, though. Star Wars. No, not a cartoon, but they seem to be taking over everything. The book, oh, they do have cartoons for it, actually, but not as movies, I guess. No, that's true. They do have some cartoons. Is there anything I can do back here that I'm not... Nope. Alright, let me go back and I'll restore. Oh, I just laid down to go to sleep. Oh, I didn't realize this was right before cutscene, guys. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have restored it there. There you are. I've been looking all over. Ah, blah, 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 blah. You fed Rosella to the dragon. Disney's making more... They've been making more princess movies. I'm mean, kind of combining... Since they bought Pixar, they're kind of combined with Pixar. Pixar's kind of in charge of their animation department. I allowed it. You had no choice. 
There's always a choice. True, you might have chosen Daventry's destruction. As for your anguish, every day I weep for Rosella and her son Alex. No, I cannot bear to hear his name, not now. As you wish, but you must not let this destroy you. Daventry cannot afford to be without its king, nor I thought that I would. Were it only that he were here, I would do anything to heal my beloved realm to make everything right. I have a magic gem I think does that. Guys, I just have to get there. There's Rosella. M clinic. Orders, Captain. I'll put that booty to good use. What is it? Uh, the core stick is close to cut diamond tree. Dragon. I hope you're right. Make sure there's someone's guard in the hatch. We don't want him trying to make a break for Daventry Sore as we sail by. Hey, Captain. Oh, no. Bim Clunk, all you have to do is take a nap. No, I went back. I went back to one of my previous saves because I wanted to... I wanted to see if I missed anything. So that was like three minutes prior to this. So that's that's the only thing. I went... I, uh, DS lol. Condor powder. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. So can this, let me just. This is the only thing that does anything. So let me see if it can take me. Nope. I'm dead. It appears the pirate. Oh god. Hurry up. Just kill me already, so I can do something else. I wish it would. I wonder. I wonder if it would take me up. I wish it would take me up to the crow's nest if no one was up there. Nope. They do that too. They're really fast. All right, so that wasn't helpful. Oh boy. Sharkies. Nope, he's just gonna get me. Dang it. This condor might be defeating me, guys. <sighs> Alright, DS. How close am I to figuring this out, DS, do you think? Do you think I'm going to keep plugging away I'm going to get it or not? Because I'm starting to feel this is like the... Zombie man, can you make any new spells? Not that I know of. I don't have any. I, I don't have any info on how to make new spells, and it won't let me mix anything up either. Bim Clunk says uh, Miyazaki or someone stupid Kiwi has some okay movies. Yeah, I like some of theirs. I really like Howl's Moving Castle. That's an excellent book. If anyone's looking for an excellent book, Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, you are close, and I am an optimist, is what DS6 says. Okay. Alright, you're an optimist? Alright. I don't know if you should be so optimistic, DS. Alright, I know the carpets are damp. It's supposed to send me someplace safe, by the way. Okay, so. What do I know? I know the carpets are damp. I know I can only do things with the uh, sleeping powder if things are darker than what they are. I know that the magic spoon. Uh, DSX, you are letting your stuck feeling make you hasty. Okay, I need to slow down then. <sighs> Bim Clunk made it this far, can go further. DSX, earlier. Oh, you were letting your stuff make you hasty. Like when you were making cookies early, earlier. Okay, so I'm going, I'm not taking, I'm going too fast. Alright. Because I was getting nervous with the time. Alright, so I have... Bim Clunk says, hopefully this isn't the kind of game with irretrievable items. 
I believe that the um, the remakes are that way that they're they're set that they don't have irretrievable items. The originals, of course, always did, and you would get stuck and you'd weep and be like, I have to f I have to replay the first two thirds of the game. But I believe it's damp. Okay, I'm being too hasty. Hmm. I'm being too hasty. This is convenient. Alright. This is really dark back here. I should be able to use my items. Open greeting above you. One crate's piled about. Alright. Hmm. Oh, wrong thing. I keep wanting to grab that. I want that storm just to rip that ship apart. Can't use the item here. Alright, let me go. Oh boy. Well, today I kind of went down the. <laughs> Them Speaking of grading, how about this puzzle? It is grading. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. DS is right. I've gotten worse stuff, so we'll keep looking around. I have some more time. Eventually, I have to stop because I have, you know, I have stuff going on tomorrow, but... Alright, come here. Let's go back this way. Let's go back to those bunks. That would make sense for a sleeping powder to be. Um, it's too dark to see below, but you know exactly what's down there anyway. I do, do I? So... I know um, people have kind of a tepid response to Space Quest, but I do want to try at least the first one and see how I like it. I hope you guys are willing to watch me play that game. Um, I have, it's the original Sierra remake, so it's, okay. It's still not dark enough to use the sleeping powder. How can I use it? Alright, DS, I think I might need, even though you're an optimistic, I might need a stronger hint. There's nothing inside to drink. Well, that's nice to know. Hmm. I think I might need a stronger hint, to be honest. I've almost got the edge of it, but not quite. So, um, but one of the things I did today was I uh, basically went down uh, an internet rabbit hole about all the kinds of different stuff we could play, and I found a whole bunch more. I have, like, so many things that we can play, including Zombie Man says, Space Quest 1, I will watch you, Jen. Thank you! Um, one of them, like, I want to, I have found the first Space Quest, there's the Pharmacist one I want to play, there's also a bunch of games, um, I guess Sierra put out a Discount Mist game DS, which might be really fun to play since you've already played the Mist games, but, um, you haven't played this one, it was basically, like, meant to be a, a knockoff of Mist. Uh, so I'm interested to play that one. That looks interesting too. So there's a bunch of new games. And I found um, places to get them too. Like abandoned where sites and stuff. Things where they're like, we have this for free. You just use it if you want to use it. No one else is publishing it. Uh, that doesn't help me. Alright. Just going to start... There's a parody of Mist called Pissed. Uh, they needed to make more suggestions. Okay, DS six. The game might have ha have an appropriate description for your current situation, but you haven't caught it yet. They needed to make more suggestions. The game might have an appropriate description for your current situation. To air. Alright, man, so I'm kidnapped, I'm shipwrecked, oh, is it going to take me upstairs, don't take me upstairs, you're just going to kill me again. Your current situation.
DS6 says, I can tell you where you need to be or what item you need to use, for example, or the whole shebang. Oh, I do like to figure it out by myself, but I feel like I'm not going to, and I'm so frustrated. Um, Bimplunk says there's a giant missed collection on Steam. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm really, uh, I'm trying to avoid laying out too much money since I run through these so quick. So I want to come through their free options. I did download the one Sierra, um, Robin Hood game that looks really fun too. Sign complete pack. I know I have a I have a hate hate love relationship with Mist, but um, I do want to play it. But I I I, I still have uh, traumatic associations with that game because it was so hard. All right, uh, DS. Uh, well, I can tell you where you need to be or what item you need to use for the example or the whole shebang. All right, DS. Can you tell me where I need to be? I will accept that hint because I need I don't even know where I'm supposed to be. <sighs> Too bad I can't just DS6. Mist is my muse. <laughs> well that's why I thought I don't know. So I definitely want to play um which if, if in the next couple streams, I do want to play Space Quest One just because I wanna I'm excited that I found it and I want to play it. But I thought maybe we would like to play the discount mist just because you don't know the puzzles either, which is kind of fun. Bim Clunk, I just tried to play Mist recently when I was a kid and I got stuck. I. Ah, uh, you need to be in the lowest section of the ship where you want me to be. Okay. Thank you, DS. I think I was kind of doing that, but I... it's not giving me enough reassurances of either thing. That's my problem with Mist, by the way, that you never really know if you're doing the right thing. Like, sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't, and there are certain spots. Okay, that looks pretty dark. If I'm in the darkest part of the ship, that means that I need to use. A sleeping powder somewhere. Oh, I keep touching it. Can't use the item. Can't use the item. All right, this looks like the lowest part of the ship, but is it? You need to be in the lowest section of the ship where they want you to be. Okay. Sign is making a new game called Abduction. Abduction? That's interesting. I think... Uh, crap. Nothing. Most of these crates are too large to lift. The mass... Uh, you know what? Can I, like, chip away at that? Can I, like, make a hole in there? That's what I think iPads, when I read the article today about the fact they're doing Gabriel Knight and they're redoing it and they're doing it for, um, for more of the iPad, Android tablet thing. All right. So it's gotta be, it's gotta either be, there's no steam. It's gonna let me use my invisibility. Am I being, I don't like to be hasty. It makes sense because night right time for you. Um, just because of the formatting, you don't want to be doing a bunch of like crazy stuff with your fingers. Like this is slow enough to be enjoyable without being stressful on like a, a tablet. And a tablet would allow you to be um, to be to be beautiful, like to be big enough to be beautiful to see all the different things. I want to I want a metal and stolen property. Right. They said something, the rat said something about a leak. Can't reach it too bad. Can't reach it too bad. Why can't I reach it? What's up there? Bim Quink says, nice revival. I never played Gabriel Knight. I never did either because it was a little more mature, and I don't think my parents would have bought it for me anyway. It's sort of like a film norm, but it's like a, it's a, um, looks pretty interesting. I remember the cover art looked neat. Yeah, it was really cool to see. They did, uh, you know, Sierra did things that a little interesting. Sometimes they would hire people who are more authors than programmers. I need to see this looking in. And um, that was the case. Like, she actually writes, the lady who did the story behind the Gabriel Knight, she actually writes novels now. She hasn't done computer programming, like, ever since she stopped doing Gabriel Knight, pretty much. But they asked her to come back in and help them do the, re the revival of it and put some new puzzles in. And the programmers, oh, 
What am I? Okay, so. Hmm. Can't use that item. Well, isn't there anything I should be noticing? Reaching. Pimpunk, she worked on King's Quest 6, I think. She might have, I don't know. You could be absolutely right. I didn't. Hmm. Bim Clunk co wrote with Roberta Williams, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. She, um, Sierra's one of those, not a weird company, I guess all game companies, but they had things like this and they had things like much more like, uh, violent and sexual or things that were just like kitty games. Like they, they ran the gamut. Alright. Subduing the pirates. That to me means. Sleeping potion, but it's not letting me use it. <gasps> oh gosh! Are you for real? As your sleep spell takes effect, a silence descends over the ship. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna place this one with it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Diaz, thank you for the hint. Bim Clunk says six is also my favorite. DS6 is yeah. Bim Clunk says yeah, Police Quest is different from King's Quest or Mix Up Mother Goose. Well, I actually read the guy who wrote Police Quest was a policeman. Like, I don't know if they knew him or what, but he was, he had to be off duty for an injury for like a really long time. Oh gosh, guys. All right, so. That's okay. DS6 says, sorry the game didn't tell you how close you were to the right spot. Shrug. Thank you, because I thought that's what it wanted me to do, but then it wouldn't let me do it. All right, so what can I do to this guy? The captain's storing peacefully on his bunk. Um, does he have anything? Should I be grabbing at him? And you're on the lowest one. All right, is there anything I can do back here? Um, now I don't know which. Okay. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to do any more than I did before, but I'm a little bit better off. All right. Invisibility. All right. Let me go. Well, let me fly away now. Now that I've subdued them. Oh, yeah. I hope I wasn't supposed to go upstairs, guys, because I'm not going. Bim clunk. Leisure suit shoot Larry with Sierra and kind of mature. Huh? I always saw Leisure Shoot Larry and I'm like, what is this game? Because it looked like a point and click and I wanted to play it, but I kind of instinctively knew even as a kid that it was probably hypersexualized. You managed to make it to the shore of Daventry, but your magical essence is all gone now. Bye bye, boat. I hope I didn't need to get anything else. 181 out of 210. Thank you, DS, for just the right amount of hint. Oh, that was weird. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go. I feel like I'm almost done. Bim Clunk says, woo! All right, here we go. Here we go. All the way. Every day. PT. So good. Oh, there's more. I should probably be, like, looking at things, but I'm so excited. Lest you forget. Daventry looks a little more tropical than last time we were here. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's like, I don't know. That's a weird... Pim Clunk says, somehow I got a leisure who suit Larry came and when my parents found it, I think it was taken away. DS6 says, hopefully that, oh, I, I have to be really careful because I'm about ready to die here. DS6 says, hopefully that makes up for the horrible hint I gave you in King's Quest 2 that wasted almost all 10 minutes. No, it totally makes up for it. And that wasn't a horrible hint. I just, you just didn't see that I got the paper. And I didn't know that it was significant because I thought I had already used up that hint. So, no, that was the perfect right amount. Because I, I kept doing it, but it just wasn't... I should have gotten your condor hint that it was placement that was the problem. Is there a reason there's something wrong here? Okay. Um, are you for real? It appears scalable. Let me try approaching the rock from the angle. All right, so like down here. All right. 
Oh, there he goes. That was seemed unnecessary. <laughs> it's like let me let me run up here like a crazy person. This is a weird scrolling function that I don't appreciate really. The whole screen going over like that. I do not like that. Uh oh. Rot row. Maybe, D6 is maybe, but I like referencing the condor as much as I think I can get away with it just on any puzzle being a nuisance. <laughs> Dim clunk that rock. I know. That was that was weirdly unnecessary. I don't mind. That looks like a, what is that? Should I be looking at that? That's a weird thing up there, guys. It's an owl wearing a waistcoat and monocle. Oh, it's the owl from a later game. That owl sigh. Alright, here we go. This is very... This looks like I should. There's like a goat. The mountain goat is its own king. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah, D is six one oh one. All right. Here we go. Wait. Oh no 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 no. Gwyden. Oh, he is Graham's son. Look at that. He's about ready to turn around and go all the way back. On a misclick. Oh, this. They're not good with this kind of stuff, guys. This looks pretty treacherous. Can we walk over it? Oh, just let's walk over it, guys. Like, it was no big deal. Okay, come on, Gwyden. I do not like that when it does that. Makes my eyes cross. Alright, here we go. Oh, it just took me inside. I didn't have a choice. Oh, well. Half-chewed bones are scattered everywhere. Your skin crawls as you imagine yours among them. Yeah. We're gonna save here. Now, let's see. I've beaten a dragon before, but I think it's a much more lazy dragon than this one. Alright, I'm gonna go in this way and we'll see what happens. Probably get charged to death instantly. Can we go back there? Is there anything? Is that not even a choice? Alright, I guess I can only really go this way, guys. How am I supposed to get back in this cave? It won't let you go anywhere. Alright. Can you please? Am I seriously not getting anywhere because it can't figure out how to let me go in? Alright, let me let me look at everything and see what it says. The cave is disgusting. You quickly dismiss the notion that occupant might be a vegetarian. Alright, well let me go somewhere then. Let me go somewhere then. Alright, you're not gonna let me go in anything? As you make your way through the mountains, you suddenly know something approaching in the distance, something that doesn't seem friendly. Ah, I love a warm meal. Now, now, don't sell yourself short. Um, oh great. Alright, so... Murderize him. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Hey, what was that? Oh. Whoa! Alright, you can run, but you can't hide. Howard, come back here. I can keep this up for weeks. What am I supposed to do? Uh, it's not the right time to use the ointment. I don't have any more flying essence. It's a storm? Okay. Oh, uh, uh. I didn't want to do that. Stop it. Gosh, and the music is so loud. Alright, I need to turn on this music because not only is it making me anxious, you guys can't even hear me. Alright, ping pong this yeti. <laughs> uh, I don't... Okay, there we go. 
Oh, and by the way, not that him. Every time I do this, it turns up the music again. I am getting tired. Aren't you getting tired? Grr, stop that. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep doing this until... You get so exhausted, you fall asleep like the giant. Grr, fine. Just leave my cell right Really? That worked? Sigh. <laughs> That's all it took, guys? Apparently the abominable snowman got tired of his fruitless pursuit and retreated to his cave in utter confusion. Alright. Oh, gosh. That music... We had no choice about that music. Alright. So now what am I supposed to do? Just walk on by? Walk on by! Ridiculous. All the villains in King's Quest are ridiculous. A lot of them can be defeated by very simple things. Let me save it, because I'm... Otherwise, I'm, I have a feeling. The giant, you know, I defeated through walking around as well. The dragon got super depressed and went for another job. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Here we go. Down the mountain. Okay. Hey! Oh. Well, this is not look pleasant. Alright. Here we go. These caves are really dark, but you feel a draft coming from two separate ways ahead of you. Oh, uh, go second. Okay, that's not helpful, is it? Alright, going back in. First. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, first. Wait, which one? Is this the one I wanted? Oh no. I don't know where I'm supposed to come out. At here. Alright, let's try this again. First. Okay, is this the one I wanted? Is this the one that gets me out of here? No. Okay, so it's gotta, it's gotta be this one. Alright, let's do first. Second. Hey! Game. Nope. Uh, first. Okay. Oh no! Lost our. Let me show you around a little bit. Oh no. Is he for real? Second. Oh. Uh, dang it! Man! Wrong way, turn back. Alright, you know what, game? Okay. This music is nice, but it's too loud. <sighs> Bimbong says this music. I know, I know, it's so... I, I have it on the lo like lowest setting. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna go second. Alright. That didn't work. I'm gonna go first. I'm getting closer. I want to. I should just be able to cl clamor over this, but the men of Daventry are famously clumsy. All right, second. Okay, that's not helpful. So I'm gonna go second this time. Let's go first this time. Bim clunk. Who's on first? Not me. Go first this time. Alright, that's slightly promising. Can I just jump down there, guys? Alright, I'm gonna go second. Nope. Come on, shots fired. First. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna eat me again. Nope. Well. Let's try this again. Oh gosh. I'm up way too late. Alright. And I can tell because I should just be able to remember what I did. Alright, so I think it's first. Go first. It takes me. Oh! Guys! No! Are you serious? Are you guys serious? Is this game even serious right now?
do none of these take me out? Hang on. Hang on. Are none of these the way out, guys? Should I not even be doing this puzzle? Is this puzzle not even a thing? Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Is this for real? I don't know. Alright, so... Okay, but how... I was down there, it didn't work. Went in here, we just said first. Right, so that took us down here. Right? I, I've been out of every single one of these. I've been out of every single one. Second. Alright. He's gonna come back and eat me anyway. First. How's this helpful? Get out of here. Daventry's back that way. Well, it's not... Oh my gosh. DS6. If a puzzle has no solution, is it really a puzzle? Oh, uh, okay. I don't, it doesn't, I guess it's a, you and your riddle. Alright, I need to, uh, this is frustrating. What do I have going, oh. Rub the magic stone. Oh. You're on your own here. Well, that's depressing. Alright, so what do I got? I got a storm. And I got sleeping powder. And I've got invisibility powder. No, that's gonna help me now. And if you solve a non-puzzle, should you be rewarded or penalized? I don't know. I think this game would say penalized. Okay. So I'm back here again, but it doesn't... Oh, gosh. So let's go second this time. This is like a cliff I can fall off, isn't it? No, he won't jump off this cliff. Is there anything, like, just so weird? It's a very steep and dangerous cliff. Numerous caves honey come with space. You could easily get lost if you sur just survive the descent. Alright. I don't know what's telling me here. Can I go down this way? gain a handhold. It's impossible, so they want me to gain a handhold? Okay, so maybe I need to do the storm. Let's see what happens. It's gonna melt the ice. Now the cat face is still up, so I don't know if it worked or not. Meow, meow, meow. Super cat. Alright, let me guess. Just, you know, they don't make me ever do the second part of the spell, which is the to make it stop. Oh, well, it did nothing. It did nothing. You reach into the dark. Diamond tree's over there. Yeah, I can't fly anymore. I would just fly off the cliff. Alright. What if I use... Can I use a... This knife feels really sharp. I just cut off my finger with it. Okay. I want this part. Can't use the item here. Alright, what can I use? 